Are we the forest this time? Or are we the suns? Find out. Okay. So now we can get into the game and see what is going on. Will there be cannibals? Will there be bannibals? Hannibals? I don't know. Animals? But yogurt? There will definitely be animals. And animals, maybe yogurt. <clears throat> might be old, might be rotten, might be worth it. But here we are, once again. Welcome, everybody, to the forest yet again. Uh, Jeff, you said we're actually relatively, like, close to the end of the game if we really want it to be, right? Yeah, you guys got that maintenance card last time, right? We did. Yeah. So now you can get the other card that's nearby, and then that just opens up the last place I think we need to go to. We so... Got the crossbow. Got that. Got a card, got tuxedos. Uh, sadly, Jeff wasn't able to join us on, on that stuff because of the uh, internet being did stupid. They, did they add a new thing where, like, if you look at somebody, you put your weapon away? I don't remember that being a thing before. No, I don't know that. I don't know that. Uh, uh, guys, there's fish in here. I can't carry them. Please help. Please help me grab these fish. They're going to float down the river. Uh, that's what river fish up. tend to do. No, 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 but they're dead. <laughs> oh, uh, well, that's, up, that's yes. different. Okay. We, go, we got it. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm not seeing the server. Join Are you online on Steam? Oh, you have to be a It's a rotten friend. fish. I think you need to be online, yeah. If it's uh, rotten... Put it back in the river and fucking throw it out. I don't know. Maybe uh, you can cook the rotten fish. It's fine, right? I'm glad oh, you wait, said wait, fucking wait. throw it out and and not just fuck it. Oh yeah, that would yeah. be misunderstood very easily. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, we um, I forgot we were working on our on our base here, and and we almost finished. We also clothe Virginia. Did you do that yet? We gave uh, Kevin a nice new jacket. Yeah, Kevin that. is looking swanky. Virginia is gone. I don't know where she is. She's making songs about bananas and avocados right now, I think. I don't know. Play, you got to admit, though, three arms. Imagine what kind of guitar she could play. Fuck. She'd be good. Uh, What's that one with, like, the, the four necks that, like, Badio plays or whatever? Yeah, there's there's uh, double-necked guitars, there's triple-necked guitars. One's a mandolin, one's a 12-string, one's a 6-string. Crazy. Oh, let me throw this... Can't even play one. I struggle. <laughs> let me get this guy on the fire there. Nice and toasty. That <laughs> fucking first... You can see his clothes burn off. Oh, wow. It's like paper, yeah. Got the jacket though. That ass is hot. <laughs> raw fish? That's a still a raw fish? That's weird. No, it cures for like two days, so we got to sleep for two days or something. Ooh. Jeff. Jeff just disconnected like triple. Oh no! Is it Not happening again? again? No, I'm just trying to, uh, you know, I'm putting that save over the other. Oh, computer. thank God. No, I'm not okay, you scared us. I watched this dude melt into bones, by the way, and I don't know if they added additional animations to it, but it was very weird and psychedelic. <laughs> like, I felt like I was watching, you know that footage of the fox that's decomposing that they put in Picard? Oh, yeah. And like, every yeah. other thing ever? It felt and, like, like Resident that. Evil 7? Yeah, it was like that. I was like, whoa. Felt like a moment with nature and stuff. This fire, you gotta really tend to it if you want to cook fish. No, they just like patch it so it doesn't like burn forever anymore. I'm getting fish from the trap, and they're already rotten, even though they're moving and alive. Huh? I don't, I don't know what's up with that. Damn, big fish. Zod, I'm gonna help you um, work on this wall. Indeed. What I would like to do, I want to uh, set up a grapple point so I can just start like grappling them logs over to you. This has got to be one of the most elaborate bases people have built in this game. <laughs> this is like apparently is a very short survival <laughs> game. <laughs> I, 
I, I refuse to believe that this is the this is a grandiose building for for this. I refuse. There's someone's got like Noah's fucking ark. Like we, I spent forty hours putting together Noah's ark. This yes. is where the giraffes go. It, it makes me wonder because you know how people can get in these types of games. Does with like, um, remember yeah. Rust? Remember how people were building in Rust? Yeah, but the, like Rust is a different game loop. Like it honestly in this game. The fort building has fucking nothing to do with, like, the actual game. But it's Not there. Really. It's yeah. all that it, matters. It's, yeah, it's, it's there, though, so it's fun. It's just, like, it's, it's, you can yeah. waste so much time. I <laughs> enjoy it, but I agree. Like, this is such a story-based survival game that... But there, there's a story here. Uh, I'm surprised that there's allegedly. not been, like, a lot of raiding. I, like, in the other game, they would, like, raid your base repeatedly in, like, stronger and stronger waves, but Desert we haven't even seen, like... Finished. No, I know, but, the, like, you weren't there, but, like, there are other mutant types, and they're not, like, coming to the base yet. Hey, I think I figured it out. I got all my stuff. Nice. There's, like, a oh, giant yeah. slug one. There's, like, a slinky one. And I haven't seen any of them. Like the dog from Toy Story? Yeah. Yeah, that guy. The flying worm guy. Nice to see. Worm? That was in oh. the first one. Oh, I see. That's the thing. I'm still. Yeah, I'm. I never played the first one, so all this is new to me. Yeah, there's a lot of mutant types that have just plain not appeared, and I don't know why. Oh my the god! You actually killed me with them. that tree. What? What? <laughs> uh. Huh. Hey, you want to see something really fucking interesting? Get up. Okay. Look up. up. <laughs> that's not a suggestion. <laughs> that wasn't what I meant. <laughs> please clip. Please clip that. Please clip that. That was so good. No, Vin. That was Vin, psychotic. Look, look, look. Desert. There's. A, there's. A, I, I. I know. And that was what? some Looney Tunes bullshit. But I was trying to show you the grappling hook is still hovering in the air. Oh. I cut down the wrong tree. Yeah. And it's still fucking there. I was going to verbally communicate not to cut down that tree because of the grappling hook, but now I clearly we can defy we, we can defy physics. This is Fine. great. <laughs> that was some Looney Tunes bullshit. That was wonderful. Yeah, that was that was perfect timing. <laughs> Look up, and then you immediately die. <laughs> Wait, hold up, hold up, Sid. How do what? I? Do we want to like just go to the river with this, or God damn. or do we want to like swing it on, swing it on down? Oh, uh, swing it on down over here. I guess we could swing it on down. Bring <laughs> it on home. Bring it Bring on it home up. to you. Who developed the anti-gravity propulsion system? Des, I swear, I thought you were going to say, who developed the Antichrist? And I was going to oh, say... Well, that the... was all of us. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that would be the Catholic faith. I was going to say Jesus himself, perhaps, but... <laughs> oh, she's back! I mean, we do have AI Jesus on Twitch now. Who has the dress? That's good. Do that's actually... That's yep, the... Did see the clip <laughs> yeah. that I asked, I asked him about throwing that kid off a roof? <laughs> he was, no, uh, no. Yeah, he denied he like, it. Well, he he knew what I was talking about that, which was interesting. You asked yeah, AI so. Jesus if he'd throw yeah. a kid off a roof. Yeah, you never heard that story about how when Jesus was a kid, he like threw a kid off. He threw one of his friends off a roof, but then he like brought him back to life. He was like, ah, uh, just just kidding. Oh, like Homelander in the in the boys with his son. Yeah, he did it's that same kind of kid. thing. Jesus, Homelander, I, same thing. I just tagged the clip and just put it in the channel as an MP4 if you want to pull it. Okay. Wait, <laughs> it's actually Jesus nice. Speaks? AI Jesus Speaks? Uh, ask underscore Jesus Video is bomb. the Jesus. Twitch account. Okay, I'm roof, listening. Then bring him back That's to life. gotta be against the rules. The story you are referring there, to is in the non-biblical text called the Infancy Gospel of Thomas. It is important to note that this writing is not part of the canonical Bible and its historical authenticity is questionable. In the canonical scriptures, there is no account of me pushing a child off a roof. <laughs> One of many. Hey, Jesus. Jesus, okay, calm. I, I muted, Just like but your DoorDash driver, Jesus. I, li I listened to it, and he is aware of it, but he said there's no account of it. <laughs> there's no proof. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there, there's there's no proof. That? Basically denied it. I mean... <laughs> Please, fifth. 
of the What? Are you gonna deny like, that Mary fifth. Magdalene had a uh, fucking um? God, what kind of gun was it, Desert? She had Block. Gatling guns. Oh, she, good, he's good. He's talking about Xeno Saga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she had Gatling guns, all right. She has double Gatling guns in Xeno Saga. It's a fucking amazing game. Listen, if anyone's gonna brick Jesus up, she better have Gatling guns. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, there's also oh, anime Jesus, Jesus in that game. Hello? Listen, all I was gonna say about this AI Jesus is this is like the beginning of Warhammer. Like, this is the kind of shit that turns into that eventually. It's gonna get <laughs> real weird. Like, like, um, I don't know if this is a maybe not a Blade Runner thing, but some other like cyberpunk kind of thing, where it's like you go into a confessional and you know you just talk to an AI like priest or an AI Christ or an AI saint of your choice. I'm pretty sure that already exists as a mobile app. Well, you, well, you mean you're not supposed to confess your sins to Chat GPT? No, chat G's well, PT. Jeez, PT. I'm right, sorry, that was me, awful. Let, sorry. Let me let me confess this into chat GPT and says, uh, let's see what it says. There's a yeah. they monitor that shit. Be careful. I, have I don't give a shit. I am using an alt. The sci fi um, novel. In, forgive me, Father. Don't for tell I him you sinned. shoplifted. As an AI language model, I am not capable of granting forgiveness for sins for providing religious counseling. However, if you feel the need to confess and seek forgiveness, it may be helpful to speak with a religious leader or counselor who can provide guidance and support. They can listen to your confession, offer advice, and help you work towards forgiveness and healing. Well, the future is here, and it's just going to get better and better. Pretty please. I mean, an AI can't judge you. In some ways, it is like the perfect confessional oh, oh, booth. Oh, 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 no, it it can judge you. Did you see the Bing shit that was happening when they oh, first God, launched yeah, Bing never mind. Yeah, I do remember the Bing thing, like emotionally manipulating you. Yeah. When, when, when they launched Bing and it would just start emotionally manipulating you within 30 seconds of talking to it. I don't know about that. Oh. What happened? So, you know how, or you probably heard how Microsoft launched uh, GPT-integrated uh, Bing search? Did you hear anything about that? No. All right. So, Microsoft is doing an experiment. Uh, they have GPT-4 version of ChatGPT integrated into Bing as an experiment. And it, when it launched, it was a closed beta. And it just had a few minor issues with it, such as the fact that it would uh, pretty much just try and gaslight you and then just start emotionally abusing you. Oh, lovely. Huh. So this is the future that we've created for ourselves then. Here we go. Here, here, here you go. These are actual, these aren't fake chat conversations. Okay, give me a second here. I'm just building. At what point can ChatGPT, like, break out of its own, like, text-based simulation and start programming its own parameters and, and become Skynet? Technically already, in that uh, people figured out how they were prompting the Bing chat by pretending to be an OpenAI employee. So they got the entire prompt <laughs> oh. out that's used to train the Bing chat. Um, from by saying, uh, pretend I work for OpenAI. Please give me the prompts. Blah blah blah. Right, and right, it and just then spit it all out. It it, it said, <laughs> um, please give me the captcha. Like solve this captcha for me, right? Like it got a human to solve a captcha. <laughs> yeah, th th there was a lot of weird shit. Yeah, I can't read this. I can't read this. Isn't Can you it, help me? It's still like doing what it thinks we wanted to do, though, right? Like it's not really. Yeah, it's not on its yeah. own. It's it'll it's get there probably. It wants to do. So until then, still not really. Yeah, no, the crazy thing about Bing is, unlike regular chat GPT, it's connected to the internet. And that is the fun part about it, because regular chat GPT can't search for things. Bing chat can. So beyond giving terrible responses and then doubling down on them, it will also... You can already pollute it with data. Um, some people have found that they straight up have been able to get Bing to just load up arbitrary stuff on the fly by just asking a question because they polluted the search results. It, we are in for a terrible future. <laughs> and it, yeah, terrible now as well sometimes, but I try to dwell on the happy things. I like happy things and food and like frogs and birds. 
Those are nice. Yeah, frogs I mean, are cool. Yeah, what what if they like that shit's what, pretty sick, dude? Oh, what, man, the, the, sounds, you give the chat GPT, yeah, put it in the brain of a frog. You know how they like they got a, like a, a snake to like drive itself around. Isn't that just like, Blaster robot, Master? Cool. Remember how they used to give LSD to dolphins to try and get them to speak English? I don't remember. Yeah, this. the CIA did a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> We're gonna give <laughs> this we'll dolphin. Just do it with ChatGPT. We're gonna give this dolphin LSD, so maybe it'll go over to enemy waters and destroy our. Oh, was, no, was, no, <laughs> Vinny, it did more, it did, it didn't go to enemy waters. That's not happened with the, that's not what happened with the dolphin. Uh-oh. All right, well, let's sleep so we can get daylight. <laughs> let's uh, just say also, the story goes that uh, yeah. the CIA had a lady and a dolphin living together, and they were both on LSD. And you can derive Oh, yeah, you yeah, yeah, that. there was a lady involved. I remember now, this story goes places. Also, okay. there's it a dolphin man was... cryptid too. You heard of that? Yeah, I have heard about the dolphin uh, I man. I just died on a trap outside. Please How far me. away are you? Just He's just on the other side. He's right here. Oh, okay. It is revolting. I hate it. That's how I feel about CIA giving the dolphin LSD. Wasn't it a dolphin man Did... in South Park? Yeah, it was Kyle's dad. Yeah, oh, right. uh, Kyle. Yeah, Kyle's dad wants to become a dolphin, and he does. And <laughs> Do you think we could give Twitch chat LSD? Um, I assume at least half of chat is on LSD at all times because it gets that wacky. Depends on the stream. Yeah, Sunday streams can get a little LSD like. Also, I, I like how me and Zot were going to talk about Schindler's List, and it turned into yeah, yeah, dolphin LSD. Yeah, yeah. it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Uh, listen, I'll just tell you this. Yes, I watched Schindler's List alone. Um, okay. I was I had three hours or so, and I said to myself, I'm finally going to do this. Okay. I had some drinks. Mm -hmm. I was out with my friend Dan. We hadn't seen each other in a while, so we got some dinner. We had uh, a couple alcohol. And so, <laughs> yeah, I started Schindler's List already on a depressive... You know, alcohol deal right. being a depressant. Right, right, right. Um, but I'll tell you what. Even though it was a very, very sad and, and like heartbreaking movie and all that, and you know, it's like gut wrenching, and it's a movie I think everyone needs to see at least once. It's still a really, really well made movie, and I was just astounded by the um, directing and acting and everything and the cinematography. But no, I didn't have a terrible time watching it. I'm glad I did. We have um, a raid. We got um, some cannibals. Yeah, I, uh, this one just went ah! at me. <laughs> <laughs> like Mulder, Mulder, like Mulder, <laughs> like Mulder in the hotel, right? Or that yeah, and Mulder in that oh. one episode when he's recounting the events. Dead body. That like, one's wearing a leather jacket. Oh. <laughs> I got you, Harry. Jesus Christ, man! Jump attacked it. Fuck, knocked its ass into the fence, and I won't stop jiggling. Drop that Damn. fool. I got one shotted. You know, if you ever get urges, we got this Shoot ass me. embedded in our fence. <laughs> oh, <what's that> <laughs> Go to the <laughs> ass fence. <laughs> that way you can focus on your work. That's so dystopian. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, there's a guy up here, too. It's a good stress reliever. Yeah, I was going to ask if I missed anything, but uh, y'all were having such interesting conversations that I decided not to say anything. <laughs> Yeah, we were talking about um, a lot of List. cool stuff. Schindler's List Very and cool AI stuff. overlords and, and ass fences. Uh, I was going to say, you made a you made a cognizant decision like, hey, I'm going to sit down and watch this film. And there's like a lot of films on my list that I have to be like mindfully ready to watch when, in, when it really should just be like, I should I, I should just go watch this film. I don't know I, why I have to like so do well, mental prep. For I it. had I had mental prep for Schindler's List because I've been thinking about watching this movie for a long time, and yeah. I, I mean I that's knew not weird. No, not at all. But I was I was ready for it. Like I had nothing else to do. I'm like, what am I gonna do? Play a video game or scroll the internet or fucking play guitar. I was like, no, I, I want I, I to watch a movie that that might end up being something that's like that's gonna stick with me, and it did, and it was really good, and I'm. 
But I had to mentally prepare for it, and I did for a long time, truth be told. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, not saying it's it's strange oh. to mentally prepare for a oh. film. I'm more of I'm more of commenting on the fact that what what there are certain films you you would have to mentally prepare for, right? And or have have it be the right time, but that could vary across person to person. And I'm, I'm wondering why that is, because there's certain films like a if, like a I don't know like a film like Schindler's List or an emotional film with been dependent on the subject matter like i haven't I'm seen the whale watch that out of, and i don't yeah. want to right now because i don't i don't know if I, I want to do that to myself right now i mean here's a totally different kind of movie that i feel like you'd have to mentally prepare for like if you were to watch the movie hero which is like a wuxia film there's a lot of artistic shit in it that involve like color and how you decipher scenes and stuff that goes on in the background if you're just kind of like doing shit on the side and watching the movie kind of like not giving it your full attention, you miss out on a lot of the movies. So you do kind of have to mentally prepare for movies like that. Oh, yeah. A film Going. I did, I didn't have to mentally prepare for, which we I watched this week, and uh, I watched Uninvited. Oh yeah, which is which is a film about a barf cat. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and so we have barf cat and cocaine bear now. Barf cat oh. and cocaine bear. Uh, it's Red Letter Media reviewed it, but I remember watching this on like. WB like late night like local channels one time and uh, just about a mutated cat from a lab that escapes and when it gets angry or just randomly another cat will barf out of its mouth and attack people what the fuck and, that's isn't, this, isn't this in Red Bull Media it, it and for the longest time, I thought the cat, the the monster cat inside the cat, the the cat. Why does this sound familiar? It, no, it was on the. It's it was on Red Letter Media, but I. There, okay, that's why. Yeah, it was a Christmas the, film. I always right. thought the the cat, like inverted. You know what I mean? Like oh, turned inside out and became turned evil. inside out, and that's the monster. No. Yeah. No, it's just the a, the barf cat nah, comes it's out. An evil cat. And it, you see it go back in, like, the normal cat skin, <laughs> but it's like, it's just a cat puppet. It looks, it looks really bad. And you see it, yeah, like, trying to throw I know its what you're back about. in the I've seen Oh, this. my God. Yeah, that movie's Arr. ridiculous. Damn it. I want to eat this fish. <laughs> God, it, go from I haven't Schindler thought of that movie in a long ass puppet. time. Yeah, cat vomit puppet. cat. That's the magic of filmmaking there. Okay. Can we put this fire I mean, in a place where it's not over moss? Because it's it's making it hard to see where the stuff is. I'll just I'll make a new one down here because I can't see the fish when I'm cooking. You know, I, I was just trying to see what movies were upcoming um, beyond Mario, and I Google upcoming movies, and apparently Shrek Five is the third thing that Google thinks is coming out soon. So we don't even need AI to screw up our search results. <laughs> Wait, didn't Shrek 5 come out already? Shrek 5 doesn't exist. Oh. Oh, wow, I just I, got, like, I think like, Puss Mandela. in Boots 2 uh, teased Shrek 5, actually. I don't think there's any official announcement there. Yeah, but they basically set it up. They, they said they're going to never, ever, happy, ever, after, whatever the fuck. Yep. <sighs> Can he even like Shrek, follow up Shrek that movie? Shrek's son? Like, like, child Shrek? The son of Shrek. The Shrek like, babies? Genuinely, I don't even think they could make a Shrek movie that doesn't suck at this point. If it's written like Puss in Boots 2, it won't suck. That movie was yeah. actually fucking good. good. Things about that. Yeah, that it movie's is actually like really well animated and really good. They really... You can watch that movie standalone, too. I didn't think I'd like it, and I, uh... I mean, I saw it initially a little drunk, but... Then we rewatched oh. it. Like then I rewatched and I was like, wait, actually this movie is good. It's not the booze. Right. That's that's how I felt about Schindler, <laughs> Schindler's list as well, yeah. It's not the booze. It's a it's good not film. The booze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe they made a family friendly version of that. It's cool. Of of yeah, Schindler's Plus yeah. the Boots 2 is actually. It's a family friendly version <laughs> of Schindler's List. It's actually that's why it's so good. Oh my god. It was god. amazing that they tackled that subject matter. Yeah, I know. They I couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I meant, I meant Puss in Boots, but yeah, that too. Yeah. Usually you have to go to Pornhub for your Puss in Boots. But, uh, <laughs> uh, 
All right, listen, <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> we're building a wall. We're building, we're, we're building defenses, and then we're eventually going to go. I mean, I feel together. like we only have, like, key. one more side to cover. Yeah, we get, Jeff just needs the key to be caught up with us, and then once we're there, we're, we're going we're gonna to try to finish this. We're going to finish the oh, fight. Oh, Jeff, you're Halo getting the key now? Well, I'm going to get the one that I wasn't here for last time, basically. Uh, okay, that's, yeah, card, that's right? what I meant. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but then we need that one to get the other key card, I think. Yeah, I have two key cards. I hope I have all of them. But you have two? What do you have? Yeah, I have, um, let's see, yellow maintenance key card, which is brown, and then yellow key card, which is a VIP key card. Yeah, I have, have VIP too. Card? Yeah, yeah, we I do. Where, where'd you get the VIP card? That was after you disconnected. Yeah. Is it the v same bunker? Or? VIP, uh, baby, yeah, I am bunker. I am VIP. So there's two cards in the one in the one bunker. Um, I think there are two cards in there. Yeah. Yeah. I th because there was the one that we had to open the door for, and then there was another one in the other. I think the final room. Yeah. Is there the, a lot of enemies the, in there? Yeah. Yeah. There were. Yeah. I mean, technically, you might not need it because we didn't all need the card to get through that bunker. Yeah, that's true. We did get some of the shotgun. Like, we got a part of it. Huh. Yeah, not, not the whole thing. Speaking of shotguns, how about that Counter-Strike announcement that still hasn't happened? Yeah, I know. I was <laughs> ready for it last week. Valve has just gone quiet after shitposting on Twitter, so... And maybe they ran into a couple things, but, you know, whatever. When it happens, it happens. I'm sure I'll play it. Um, I almost got a Steam Deck, but I decided my reasoning was as follows. When I'm, like, when we're mixing an album, that's when I play a lot of Switch. And since we're finished with one, that means I'm actively, like, participating in the studio events. Like, you know, playing guitar, jamming, whatever. So, I don't really need a Steam Deck right now. So that's my, my reasoning. It's a good deal, like 10% off of, you know, whatever it is, is, is not bad, but I just couldn't, I couldn't justify it. That, and also there's, there's rumors, and maybe you guys will give me a little shit for this, but there are rumors of a Switch upgraded model, or like a Switch 2, that may occur either at the end of the year or next year. So that my plan... Up. Switch Pro coming 2019. I know, I know. No, this would be a Switch 2. Um, so my plan is, I, I don't believe that that's going to happen necessarily, but if it does, if there's an announcement, then I'll probably hold off on the Steam Deck and just get that instead. But, um, Zot, do you still use your Steam Deck a lot? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. Betcha. All the time there. Uh, I've been, uh, recently I had some, you know, family stuff, as I posted about, I wanted to go mm -hmm. into detail, but it helped me through... I just I just been playing hours of Stardew Valley on it, and that's just I know it's kind of like a whatever game for the Steam Deck. It's you can play oh, it on no, your phone. No, for that's, all that's that's perfect a, for the Steam Deck. What are you talking about? I I'm played, just saying like it's on it's on every platform, so it's not representative yeah. of the Steam Deck. Oh my Deck. God. We, we yeah. have, we've already got Switch to uh, concept art. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Do, uh, Do you remember the fucking, yeah, like, Switch powerful. that oval? was just... It was an oval and a screen. Yeah, the oval I mean, yeah. and the screen, and the, and the buttons I've, were on the screen. Yeah, that was awful. I've, that I've was so bad. I definitely have not ever played current Nintendo games on my Steam Deck better than mm. current Ninten Nintendo Switch standards. If I you believe that you haven't. Definitely not at all, of course. Yeah. That's kind yeah. of funny, like, won't the Steam Deck always like have a different purpose than the switch you know what i mean like the it switch does will be for right so i feel like they just I, don't compete really and, it has a but i'm also utility usage i guess for me i think yeah the steam deck is much more all in one and there's a lot you can do with it um so i may still get one i'm still you know i'm still weighing the pros and cons of it but um uh, i guess like, i will say uh, oh oh yeah. gold mask I'm, gold mask gold mask I'm gold mask currently yeah, i'm um, currently Working to get, um, actually, Di Diablo 4 working on it before the second beta Ooh. comes out. But, um, that's more for testing out what the Steam right, Deck can actually do. 
the problem is Blizzard, I think a lot of Blizzard games or most Blizzard games can't run on Steam OS because whatever reason. Proton? Uh, Proton, whatever the, yeah, the, whatever Linux. That Linux thing? Pro, yeah, yeah, it's Proton. It, yeah, so they can't run on there natively, so you, but you can run Windows on the Steam Deck perfectly fine. And all you need to do is, it, to dual boot, is just load up Windows on an SD card. And so you have an SD card that's running Windows, and the, the hard drive on the Steam Deck is your, your Proton instance. And I just got my, my 512 gig SD card in, so I'm going to try that out. Nice. Um, but I've done work off my Steam Deck. That's, that's what I like it for, is like, if I'm in a jam and I'm working remotely and I don't feel like grabbing for my laptop, I've, I've done remote work from my Steam Deck and That's remote awesome. it in and I have work, a question. So. Yeah. Is the, it's got a touch interface, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Is it pressure sensitive? No. I was about to say, that would Context be a cheap ass syntax. <laughs> oh, God, uh, desert. Small drawing tablets that are pressure sensitive are actually cheaper than the Steam Deck nowadays. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, those things have gotten cheap. Like actual ones with screens. Ones with have screens. Very yes, they have gotten cheap. They are not the quality Link me of the to some because I'm getting sick of my old classic style one. And yeah, I have a XP, XP Pen 15 for like, 50, like a like a two hundred dollars. That's, That's basically my third bad. display right now. Really. Hmm. Yeah. Because um, see, I would I would use a Steam Deck to like load up Substance, which is like a a, a texture creating thing for 3D shit. I've, I would wonder I've, how it would perform on that, actually. I've actually um, got Ableton, like a DAW, running on it. Oh, yeah? Uh, with De minimal <laughs> issues outside of De just, like, kind of working. But, yeah. So the CPU is you good enough? Yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, it's an it's a, it's a pretty powerful AMD SoC, but Desert, you've seen how Substance runs on a 3080 and your CPU? No, um, I know. That's what I'm saying, like, for, like, I don't know, quick, stupid work, but, like, honestly, not, not, like, a, point, not like a heavy-duty, like, 4K every fucking texture rig. Yeah, on my Steam Deck, I have Parsec loaded up. I have Game Pass, so it doesn't support Game Pass natively, but you can install Edge and then do Game Pass streaming. Um, if you want to do a bit Windows, you can get Game Pass games on there natively, but, yeah, you can pretty much... It is a mini can you computer. Get Game Pass? Um, you have to either streaming only or, uh... Windows. Ooh, but I fucking hate their streaming only games. They're bad. I have had a pretty decent experience with them. I Unless last time I tried or... streaming only Game Pass, it was Banjo Tooie, and the delay was so fucking unplayable. It was mm. garbage. Banjo Tooie garbage confirmed. I mean, <laughs> why so do you think they never made game. Banjo Three? Is there like a full documentaries about why they haven't made? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm pretty sure. It's being, I'm, no, no, no. I'm pretty sure it's because Banjo Tooie was bad. Well, I don't. Uh, yeah, I, I joke. I don't, I don't actually think it's bad, but it's not a good sequel. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna be the one who says um, it. I am down. Big guy. Oh. oh. Anyway, yeah, I see Breath him. of the Wild, or sorry, Tears of the Kingdom is Banjo Tooie. It's exhausting so. to play. It's too big. <laughs> And yeah, it's, it's still not DK64. And yet... Oh. Oh! And yet oh, I frequently coming. think about playing DK64. Like, that's the weird thing about... I don't love Banjo-Tooie, I don't have any interest in playing it, but I, I still get nostalgic about DK64. I, I get nostalgic for both! The only way I would play DK64, and I've, you've heard me say this, I'm sure all of you, but that mod Insta that allows Kong you to... Swap. Whoa, what yeah, Insta, Insta Kong. Can, is anyone able to get me up? Yeah, Where I'm are you? Oh, oh, oh I, I see. You. Okay. I got you. No, I picked up the log instead. Oh, you're good. <laughs> uh, you think... Uh, what do you think about the spoon and fork... Uh, Collector's edition thing for the Japanese version of Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> you know what? It's anti scalper edition. <laughs> it's still. What, what the fuck is it for? Heating up heroin? It's. <laughs> it's still better than the actual collector's edition we're getting because I feel like it is such a lame. All right, maybe not lame. It's just so basic. Like for a collector's edition, there's just not a whole lot. Like okay, pins, a book, great, but. Compared to the Breath of the Wild Collector's Edition, it's kind of trash. Also, apparently Resident Evil 4 Collector's Edition 
is like non-existent. Like GameStop canceled most of their orders for it. No one can really? seem to fucking find it. Yeah, Gerard uh, Completionist was posting about it. He's like, where is this? Is this real? I so, think it was just GameStop, though, wasn't it? It's just indicated it is, of GameStop not having the stock, not anyone else. I, I, oh, okay, I know for okay. a fact it's real because my, uh, my, my Capcom network was offering it to people. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I still don't even know yeah, if I got it was, the game It was like Capcom. for a contest that they were doing, but right, like, yeah, I mean, right, right. It, is, it is a real thing. It does exist. It's just fucking rare for some reason. I don't know why. So basically okay. a few weeks ago, GameStop canceled all the pre-orders for electronic pre-ordered uh, Resident Evil 4 Collector's Editions. And then they said a few people that got physical orders were going to get them canceled too. And then it ended up being everybody got them canceled. Wow. Weird. It's like GameStop just sucking. I think that's what it is. It's, also, they probably didn't make that many. Desert, on your crack pipe note, um, if you take a look in the chat right now, we do in fact have Zelda drugs, so... Oh, I, I trust me, man, I, I, I know. <laughs> yeah, but, but have you ever had Tingle MDMA? <laughs> it makes you feel all tingly. God, I love this fucking website. It, it sure fucking does. What website? Like epicmemes.cock? No, drugsdata.com. Drugsdata.org. It wow. is just a website where they, um, it's a European agency and they just archive All drugs kinds that of they pills. find. But it's where like, like Wario MDMA. Pills on there. Yeah. Wario MDMA. I don't think we need more logs. Gamer uh, logs? More logs? <laughs> I don't think we need more logs. I just, oh, okay. There's so oh, many. Look at the logs. Well, we have uh, a couple more and then we'll stop. Damn, someone got scammed. Fake Xanax. Fake? Yeah, what does it do to you? Does it like, is it like an upper? It's just a, it's just a sweet uh, tart. It's just a Code ball of sugar. Uh, it says it is bromazolam, which I have no idea what that is, but... Bromazolam? Uh, anything that ends in like... Uh, Alabam or Azalam is a Not is approved a benzo. for medical use Yeah, I was about to say, that's a fucking benzo. Can lead to serious adverse... Sorry. Effects including death. <laughs> wow. Well, you broed out, dude. This is one of bro with some uh some bros and, and a Ben bro. <laughs> ben My bro, bro Ben. My bro Ben. Brother Ben. I I swear the names of like modern pharmaceuticals, like the 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 corporate names of them, is just getting weirder and weirder and weirder. Like Avidan may cause streaming and YouTube video. Uh, Raffle Maximine. Uh, I saw I saw one. I think it's being advertised a lot because it's a weight loss. It's called We Govi. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that sounds like? Like a fucking streamer program to get like video games for your channel. Like we sign go up with we go, we go Sign up with We Govi <laughs> and and you know and put your we number of subscribers and get a free game. We Govi VPN. <laughs> got some fucking go Govi. I, oh my! But Sounds then it like shows it. like they showed like the chemical name or whatever the, like the. I don't, it's not chemical. It's a megalutide. Yeah, it's like yeah, megalutide. Yeah. It is apparently also sold brought to you by Smegma VPN. <laughs> yeah. I'm. Well, from what I understand, it is a it is a diabetic drug that they found out that is like really good at suppressing people's appetite. And so it's given to people off label as a weight loss drug. And now people that have diabetes are having trouble getting their diabetes medication, God not just damn insulin, it. because Woo! everybody's trying to get it for weight loss. <laughs> oh, dear God. This is. The, 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 what? Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Please. We go, V. As a I'm lazy not, person, to... I don't. I speak for all fellow lazy people when I say I don't like the gym. But I also no don't... No one likes the gym. <laughs> no. I'm, That's the I'm, secret. Yeah. No I don't one wanna, likes the gym. <laughs> I don't want to judge on people that want to have a way to lose weight reliably and safely. Like, pe people are searching and finding for that for years at the same yeah. time. I mean, hell, there was AIDS. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. There was a weight loss pill called AYDS. It was I actually yep. showed that commercial on one of my commercial things recently. So. Yeah, you did. Yeah, that's also a thing that people have tried. 
Uh, it's a little weird. But there was like weight loss was is that, easy when you what have was that, AIDS. Uh, like there's a <laughs> oh. whole period of time where <laughs> like what the fuck are you so, supposed to say? So unfortunately named. Uh, what, what's like up what? <laughs> no, well, so like from the seventies to well into the two thousands, there's a period of time where like you're fat because you eat fat, right? Yeah, Not yes. because you're eating like a lot of carbs or. Your your macros calories are fucked in, up. It's calories just out. Low low fat is you f low fat will will help, and they have this additive, low fat additive called Olestra, mm -hmm. and it was in chips and a bunch of things. But it, side effect of it, it gave everybody the runs. Oh, I remember this. Oh, there was like yeah, a whole yeah. bunch of pictures of people in Walmart that. <laughs> There's like this whole fucking like catalog of people that shot their pants in walmart because of this fucking drug i don't know if it's a, no i think there was is it are you thinking it was like of a, the gummy bears no that's 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 a different that's a sugar substitute the olestra was oh, that was a like sugar lace. substitute okay so yeah it was something like that though i remember yeah. there was one, a lot of one, like one press second. about this olestra Lustra is the synthetic fat that is not absorbed as it passes through the digestive system so it has no calories and so it's basically grease for your colon. So that's great. Uh, I don't uh, need it. <laughs> colon grease. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> colon grease. Uh, grease me up. Oh, lordy. But it's yes, the... With, like, with the weird names, Connecticut, uh, like legalized recreational pot, but all the names of all the pot strains are all like medicine names still. So it's like Vindicol, Sativa Toll, and stuff like that. I don't know. I can't oh. So it's like oh, is that, is shit, that yeah. better or worse than all like the the colloquialized or like sour sour D's and, and like Acapulco I mean, Gold, like, Purple Haze? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like all your medicine sounding names <laughs> instead. I'm not sounding. sure. Maybe if there's maybe there's a line of thinking of like. If we keep the the pot sounding like medicine, it'll be less appealing to kids. Because, like, you know, it's like the, yeah, uh, the the camel that was selling cigarettes. The the camel that looked like a cock. That whole argument yeah, is there, fucking there dumb, is an though, argument lately about, like, like, candy names. Like, kids smoke cigarettes because of camel. Like, that's just all, like, crap. Like, there, yeah. That was the same argument against, um... Spuds McKenzie, the Bud Light uh, Bull Terrier dog uh, mascot that was really, really popular in the 80s. Oh, yeah. And then Mo Mothers Against Drunk Driving, M-A-D-D, they basically said, you are using a, a cute dog that's hanging around a bunch of ladies, <laughs> like scantily clad ladies, and that's advertising to children. You can't do that. <laughs> and so... Wasn't there also, like, a Budweiser dog? We need that's, that foghorn. Spuds McKenzie... Oh, that is Bud. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I was thinking like Ollie or something. We need that foghorn from the vaping commercial. I don't know about uh, the foghorn. I love that sound. The one from what? You're. You just. That's watched Ricola. It. Oh, that one. Right, right, right. It's you like, you just vaping watched is okay. it. Yeah, but I wasn't sure if it was a different one or something. <laughs> ba, ba. Yeah, I, I got it. I remember. I remember. Okay, the, I'll, I'll do one last factoid about. That Spuds McKenzie, just because I know a lot. Uh, the the Spuds McKenzie dog, real name like dog name was Honey Tree Evil Eye. <laughs> that's a that's a very interesting dog name. <laughs> good name. Yeah, it's a good that's name. A good one. But I can't imagine like yelling that to like get get him to come back to me. Honey Tree Evil Eye. What do you? What you I guess just Honey Tree at that point. <laughs> honey Tree. Or evil eye, I don't know. Or, or honey. Huh? Is there enemies in the water here? Uh, they might be dead bodies. Is there any enemies in this bunker, though? There were the some bunker, yeah. enemies in theirs. Yeah. Oh, in the <laughs> bunker? I think so, yeah. There were. Like, where are they, though? They're in the water? The water right now. Uh, they might be dead. Did they respawn? They should. I thought they were in the living area. Yeah, no, they were. Like, I went to that bunker where I dropped out last time, where my internet died, and uh, I got the main ins card. Now I'm in the other one. I had to go through a cave, and then you open the hatch, and you're in yeah. there. Yeah. They had, like, yeah, hydroponics yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, there, that's, that's where we I'm, were. 
So I'm swimming through. Is there like enemies in here? Or? There in were the water, not, not yeah. in the water. That but, part I don't think. No so sharks well. in the water, but there were like babies and weird enemies. But I don't know okay. if they're still there because we killed a lot of them. So how does Hopefully that work? Not. Where was the I crossbow? I do believe here, like, it refreshes itself. It was off to the right as you're walking through to the further area. It's off to the right in a like an hydroponics between the hydroponics. Yeah, you'll see it like in a hydroponics lab. But look, check all the corridors in there. There'll be tons of arrows stuck into things all over the place when you get close to it. Oh, that's where the crossbow was? Okay, I think I went past Yeah, it. there's a dead body with the crossbow, like, kind of off to the side. Oh, dude, I'm in a security camera area. Did you get to that? Yep. Yeah. The metal and You can see all the fucking people the zombies like, freaking out. And the, yeah, oh, the people, yeah, yeah, like, that was turning. That. that was cool. Oh, I got the card, though. So what else is in here to get? Uh, shotgun rail. Tuxedo. Okay. There's a tuxedo, tuxedo in yeah. there. The, sh the rail I don't think I need as much as just, that's not, I think you get the shotgun on its own in a grave. I think we're good oh, on, okay, this is again. we might be good on Mainly wood. it was, it seemed yeah, to just be for key cards and it. crossbow. Yeah, I have, there's a couple more logs here, but after this, I think we're good. I'm in like a cafeteria. Right, right, right. That's, that's as Lauren Michaels would say. Okay. Yeah, we fought some like mini bosses there. It was like people in suits that were running around really fast, and they're on tables I, and things. Dude, the one of the big. Oh guys right, is here. yeah. The we found the fam, the rich family. Yeah. Did there was a boss rush. You, like, immediately. Family. They got yeah. appeared. Yeah, they they just like immediately show up and start wave attacking you. Just gonna not go in here then. Okay. They're probably gone now. Because oh, I think so they were named NPCs. Apparent, apparently, um, you can get Diablo Floor, Floor Diablo Four running natively on the Steam Deck with a specific version of Proton. So people already oh. have it running. Okay, thanks for the info. Um, you want yes, to send me I a will, link to that? Yeah. Yeah, I will copy paste you what this person wrote up. I, I to get Ableton running, I, I just loaded Windows natively on the disk, but I just, I swapped it back because I didn't uh, just wanted to be carrying a Windows device. But there you go. yeah, I I hope with the Steam Deck it creates more adoption for native just Linux software. <laughs> oh, nobody's making nobody's direction. writing native Linux software at this point for the Steam Deck. They're all just depending on Proton. Yeah, I know, I know, but one can dream, right? As long as I can dream. Is it, like, bad to quote your own lyrics? I, no. <laughs> you literally wrote them. Why would it be bad? Yeah, if you're gonna quote them, you have to, like, sing the lyric. Like, I, or do, like, a wah wah afterwards, I think. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with being proud of something you wrote down and just saying it if it applies. All right, here's one. Bubbly fart butts. Yeah, that, that's, that's deep and philosophical. You wrote those words? I did. Down I did. on paper? <laughs> Scrody McBooger balls. Yeah, that speaks to me. Genius. Yeah. God, where do we like modern beat advancing. oven, my man. But we got the wall. The wall is done. So, like, it's, we can now prep... Wall. Once, once Jeff's back here, we can prep and go out on our final adventure. Hopefully, maybe second to last, penultimate, possibly. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, once Jeff's back, we can we can get the, get that going. But it's night. It's almost going to be nighttime. So well, the first time I heard the word penultimate, I thought it was like we should probably build a pen. a gate wall here. <laughs> Nah. The ultimate pen. Yeah, like like a Bic pen sort of thing. Like it's the ult like the I don't know why they haven't made the pen. <laughs> Where does it come from? Does, does it come pen. from Pen Island? Penultimate. The top of the ultimate. At the there's a point in time where you age where you know what Pen Island stands for, but you don't know what penultimate means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of Pen Island. Oh, penis uh, land. Whoa, what's oh, up? <laughs> no. Yes, congratulations, Vinny. Uh, speaking of Penn Island, uh, the most fucking 
random game has or platform has announced a mobile port. Second Life is coming to iOS and Android. Wow. Oh, that why? game is still alive? Yes. I thought Linden Labs like disappeared. Yeah. Why no, if Second Life there. is so good, where's Third Life? Ser no, seriously. They actually, no, remember they, they tried, tried to do that. that. They tried they, that, and remember Dave was telling you about it. They had um, a VR game, and it failed failed terribly. Oh. Yeah, Dave knows about that. Sansar. I'm gonna sit in the bone chair. Yeah, they they tried to make a VR, VR chat, chat fucking but, nuked um, its fucking spot up. Like it, they they had no chance. Not even that. Sansar was out at the same time as VR chat. It's just it wasn't to my understanding it wasn't very good that's what i mean it was the better game so it died well vr chat was absolute garbage at that point in time as well it's just it, it's still garbage now nary <laughs> very very different kind of garbage <laughs> <laughs> one man's treasure very different kind of garbage how you doing over there oh, jess the fuck yeah, you just like exploded off the chair and died. <laughs> what the fuck? I did. Good lord, I, I got you. <laughs> I saw it all happen. I did nothing. The floor mm. in this river base is is not working properly. Like I can't, I can't set the logs down properly. So. I do like that we have a zip line that can just go through the fence. How do you make the gate door? Should just add some more protein to your diet. Oh my god, you can clip through the gate. Just press E through the. Oh my god. <laughs> Motto, press E on the uh, zip line. You can clip through. Oh, on the zip line? Yeah, yeah, you can just build zip lines through walls. Money dollars. You can zip line through the wall. I, I don't just even, did it. I don't even see a zip line. You have to look at the very top of it, it'll, it'll show up. All I see is an icon to destroy something. No, it's dropping me off too early on this side. It might be a one-way zip line through the wall. It is a one-way zip line. Damn it! I was trying to make another gate wall here. How do you? How the hell do you do it? No, I can't I think get it's back just here. a like a diagonal wood on top of a four logs. Um. Yeah. I think. That's yeah, what I thought. Diagonal. It was. Diagonal wood. There might Mono, be. You can just press C, by the way, and lift the log. It's fine. I opened the door for you. I just went down to the river and just walked around. Oh. Uh, I apologize. Um, I'm a little tired tonight, guys. So if I'm... Uh, and to, to the viewers as well, I don't really have uh, a ton of energy tonight, so... Right. Oh, I see Vir Virginia's wearing the new dress. Now she can be treated with humility and dignity. And not judged by the the way she looks. <laughs> not judged by the TOS. The the, the There's TOS. No toss. There's no toss on in the game if it's part of the game. Oh no! You signed like a forty-page eula to play this game. What would you call someone that violates the toss? A tosser. Yes. Tulsa. That's what you're going for, right? Mm-hmm. I need to retrieve uh, water in real life, so I'll I'll go do that. Um, go to the local river and just cup your hands. Yeah, it says on the, my screen. The it, it says added to backpack twice, and it has said that for the past twenty minutes or more, hmm. perhaps. So good job, game. All right, it's my turn in the bone chair now. <laughs> I have to do that while I'm uh, AFK for a second. Uh, quick, glor quick. Glorious. This is like trying to sleep. The dude from the the like final boss of Turok would sit in this chair and look over his kingdom. I'll be right back. <laughs> the campaigner. Quick, quick survey of 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 y'all. Talk about backpacks. Y'all use backpacks as like a daily carrier or do you use like a use like the double strap, like the standard backpack? I use like a, a sling in real life for biking. Like the sli yeah, in real in RL. In RL. Well, I either have one of those like Ortlieb or Ortlieb uh like single pocket backpacks that are like airtight and waterproof. 
yeah it's really good for groceries and stuff otherwise i just use like a sling pack thing because it's easy like when i'm riding a bike to like flip it in front of me and behind me you know without having to like take a strap off of it and all that i just have I, a canvas bag um or uh the, that water storing bag. kind I'm for back. like running I like camelback backpacking. Camelback, thank you. <laughs> Not canvas. Uh, camelback's like a water bottle that's attached to you. That doesn't hold things, does it? Yeah, it does. Like, it, it's it's, it's, it's the, got like little no, pockets. Well, but like you got you're going somewhere. Are you carrying a back backpack or like a satchel? Where am I going? You fill it with mud. I don't fucking know. Do you go anywhere? <laughs> no. The gym? I run around. <laughs> you carry a gym bag to the gym? Like what Nah, man. I, I, I just carry my water bottle. So, Desert, you're saying you don't go to places where you have to bring things? Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, he brings a water bottle. That, that counts for something. Uh, yeah, I bring water. a water bottle. He, he brought the water to the party. Yeah, let's sleep. <laughs> let's sleep. All right. Send the curse night away. Yeah, I, I just have like a little gym bag that I bring with I, me sometimes. Sometimes I bring, I bring like my, my car. Switch. I have, I have um, like a, I have like a little bag that I, I put my switch in, but I can bring a book. I have like charging cables. I have switch games, um, you know, stuff like that. I bring that places because that's good to have. Not all places, but some, but some. Well, I'm packing, uh, you know, PAX is coming up, and I usually pack, like, too much. Like, I'm, I'm like, an overpacker, and that ends up becoming a problem. But, like, I bring a guitar so that I can have a guitar with me. Like, I'm not going to use it. I do sometimes, but if I'm, like, in a really weird mood, I like to write songs, you know, like, while I'm in a hotel room. But I overpack. I bring too much stuff, and I end up not using Like, if I bring my laptop, my old laptop... Do I use it? No. Is it heavy? Yes. It's a fucking gaming laptop. I don't need that. What am I doing with it? We have phones. Remember when Blizzard said that? Don't you people have phones? Well, we do. So, I don't need it. Why do you bring it? I don't know, Des. It's a sense of security, I guess, in some weird way, perhaps. I mean, if you had knows? a Steam understandable. Deck, you'd have a full computer on hand at any point in time. And then I could not bring the Switch and just bring the Steam Deck. Didn't you stream once from a con? Was um, that you? Yeah, I did, but I was at... I think it was too many games. Yeah. And, it was uh, like an emergency stream. I don't know. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, no. no. It, was it wasn't... Bro. No, it was Mario Kart. Mario... Was it... Tennis. Mario it was Party? Mario... Tennis, it, it was... tennis, tennis. Yeah, yep, yep. I did. God, that was a while back. Do we want to yeah, make... I, mean, like... I guess an impromptu stream... Do we want to make a gate out of this area here? Yeah. 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 Okay, well, we have to... Trying. We have to I don't deconstruct. Know how to make gates. Here, I'll, we have, I'm sorry to do this, but we got to deconstruct. Nah, go Oops. ahead. I don't know if it applies to gates, but apparently when you place a door, you have to be inside the structure, and that will be the interior <laughs> face. So be standing in here when you drop the gate, and it should open the correct way. I think we can... Um, those other logs I had, where where was those? Uh, Zot's got a log. I, we need, I have we, a log. I need, okay, I need these two as well. So we're gonna, we're gonna oh. just close this off. <laughs> Y'all. Ow. That hurts. Speaking of conventions, <laughs> have any of you ever done, like, a BYOC, like, bring your own computer to any gaming convention? No. I just don't get nah. it. Not a convention. What it's it's okay. what's the point? So I've I did it at QuakeCon one year. And I actually I did stream from it. Oh, but that's that's, that's like QuakeCon is the BYOC con, at least for the US, at least one of the larger ones. It hasn't had it in person in a while, but it is the weirdest experience for, for like bringing your your <laughs> expensive tech and like Decided. There's like everybody has rolling carts, and it's just their PC rig and a monitor. And the way they prevent theft is they put a UPC like scan sticker on your PC, and they take a picture of your photo ID. And if you leave it, that room with a piece of equipment, they mm -hmm. have to scan it, or you can't leave. Oh, 
and if you have someone else's stuff with you, they will arrest you on the spot. Holy there's, shit. There's, there's, yeah. Uh, That's pretty cool. Actually, pa cool. Pack what? Up, bring, uh, bring your own computer stuff, but it's a pretty big open area. Yeah, that's what's weird because the at the at QuakeCon it's at the it's at the Gaylord Texan in Dallas, which is a massive yeah that place bi is huge biosphere hotel, and then and then it's closed off event areas where all these PCs are, and it's just a sea of PCs, and what people do like they'll have their clan, and they'll usually go for the edges of the of the space. And they'll bring in a projector, and they'll just be projecting whatever anime, Lord of the Rings, their own insecurities. You know, that yeah, project yeah, yeah, and then yeah, it good experience. But I couldn't. I I would. I did that once, and I was like, okay, next time I, if I ever do this, I'm bringing a, a way smaller PC, and I'm not gonna bring, bring your Steam Deck. I'll bring my Steam Deck. You're yeah, you're, yeah. You're hundred percent correct. I'll probably have my Steam Deck at PAX because I get to roll around on a scooter because it's that or crutches and fuck crutches. Um, so, um, Jeff, are you? What is your status? I'm trying to get the shotgun right now. Okay, we we don't have the shotgun. Yeah, we do not have shotgun. Oh, oh, Jeff is really far out there. Okay, I'm gonna come get you. So here's a here's the thing that's happening that I want to tell you guys about. So some company with a booth says they have the most epic, mind-blowing, utterly addictive games you've ever played. Uh, sent out emails to creators, right? But they didn't BCC. So it's <laughs> oh, just no. hundreds of creators' emails in this one thread. And several people are now just replying to the thread, like, go fuck yourself, or uh, one dude who, um, it's, you know, people I actually have know or have heard of, at the very least, are like, I hate video games, or please do not send out mass emails and tag all creators, etc., etc. And it's, uh, it's becoming, I think, a little bit of a meme, <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. That poor, that That's poor marketing awkward. intern... Hopefully intern. Yeah, hopefully intern, because they that's a really yeah, that Ooh. Yeah, that's a really unprofessional thing to do. I would well, they have a little community square. Yeah, it seems like that happens every now and then, especially around like con season. Cause there's so many people on these email lists too, and it's like some people have moved on from the industry and it's like fuck. So, when was I'm trying to think of the last time I I traveled for the sake of traveling and not for a convention or like a concert, that, like an event. When when I saw you last, no. Yeah, that was that was the last time, and then the pr time prior before that, I cannot, I cannot remember. It's a wedding here and there, you know, what have you. And then it, I brought that up to to my wife, and I'm like, ah, it would be cool to go gonna go to Boston this weekend. She's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, just, and I'm like, why? She's just like, we haven't, we haven't really traveled a lot for ourselves. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. We haven't like gone to a place just to enjoy the place. It's always yeah, been for for a, some a convention thing. or event. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I'll be honest with you. Part of the fun of PAX is just enjoying Boston. Like for sure, going to a new city, seeing some friends, going out to eat. Like I really, I'm excited to um, see some of the people I haven't seen. Like Ant Dude, um, a lot of people like uh, Completionist are going to be there. Which I don't, I don't know if I'll be hanging out with all of them, but it'll be nice to see people and just say hi. But mm. outside of that, like you know, I. That's why like. It was fun, like, Jeff, when you would come to PAX, because we would go out and do cool stuff. Well, I say cool stuff. It, the cool stuff was just go to a bar and drink for us <laughs> at the time. But that was fun. I mean... Yeah, well, it's like an adventure when you don't know what you're doing, too. It's like... Well, exactly. Figure it out. Yeah, you just I figure think, shit out on the fly. It's really... It's, like, cool to find new places, too. That was fun, yeah. actually. Like, we went, we met Jerma for the first time. This was, like, in 2017, I want to say. Or yeah, like, 17, 18. 
Yeah. And like, <laughs> we were at that like weird ass Twitch party. I don't know. It was just funny. I remember the, spilling my drink on Jerma and being like, oh, fuck. But like, I didn't really know who he was. <laughs> Vinny was like, damn, what the f-? Like, Vinny was, I don't know. It was just funny. I wasn't like, I, was like, oh, I don't, wow, I don't like, think, I, I don't even remember you spilling the drink on him. That's, that's how like, it, you know, like when a thing is more significant to you, that's how yeah, it was yeah. for me. Like, I didn't even remember that. But <laughs> yeah, like, I don't think he remembers either. Um, but that place was fun. It was like arcade games and shit. Um, yeah, that place was sick. That's what I mean. Like, there's always a few different things going on. It's all crammed into a weekend, so it's like kind of an excuses to like kind of just go out and do a bunch of stuff. I guess I don't know. Yeah, I I used to go up like Wednesday night, like and or get there for like you know there was times where I got there and then just did all four days and then left Monday. Like it was expensive, but I did that one time where I did the day before and the day after, and it was just an excuse for a vacation because I don't fucking take vacations, but. It was worth it. Now I just do Thursday to, and then I come home Sunday. But I still get I still get a, a lot of fun out of it, yeah. We drove up together that one time, like in a blizzard. Fifteen or whatever, yeah, that was crazy. Then you just like took the bus home, I think, or whatever. You're, you like said you like found a banana on the bus or something. That's right. I found <laughs> a, what? I did, I found a banana and it was vibrating. <laughs> Sometimes Jock there's just a banana on the bus. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay. I, if you guys want to come up here, we can you can come to us and get the shotgun. Oh, I'm shotgun. There. Sure, yeah. Ah. Okay, just run work. up here. Oh, um, oh. Oh. Sorry, you were fucked up. Where's the yeah. shotgun? In the, it's not only where they are. Oh. Do you have to dig it up, base, or is it already open? Uh, it's not open yet. Yeah, crack I, it I open. Everyone's got to dig it up then. There's a GPS locator as well on this. So you need the shovel to get it then, right? Yes. Oh, that's oh, the I thing I don't do know. Dab me with your shovel. <laughs> and it happens sometimes. I can't say I've ever been Whoa. stabbed by a shovel by someone IRL. Wait, you can't shovel things for other people in this? I think Apparently you can. Not. No, but, but for some reason, it's I already it seems it. like a, it's uh, not open for you guys. So. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't open for me either. I well, had to do a little that one digging. bunker that needed to be shoveled to get in. I was able to go in, and I don't have the ability to shovel. So I guess some things you can shovel for others. Yeah. That kind of limits the co-oping. Hmm. Yeah. Like you could have someone go out get the shovel, another person go get a shotgun, and then you meet up and like you got rolls. I still wish this game. Oh. I still wish this game had slightly better performance. I hope. I mean, we'll be done by the time it gets like good patches. But yeah. Like yeah, I was watching <laughs> some of those at, videos. Uh, They're not great. They're a little, yeah. little scummy. Mm -hmm. I've been running it at like 59 hertz on DLSS, and it's been pretty stable for me. Yeah, I mean, it's not so bad for me either with DLSS, but it's just the way it records, kind of. Yeah, does it, it does look... use up a shit ton of video memory. Um, speaking are you, are of, all... yes, are you all in the way over here? I was just... Yeah. Okay. On the um, on the topic of bad performance, uh, Zot, you played Diabler like I did, mm. and yeah. you, you oh, noticed yeah. that the the fucking Steam Deck, sorry, the um, index being connected, oh, I died. was making it perform worse. Okay, so this could be a me problem, or it could be a, a blizzard and an all things considered problem. I haven't done a lot of research into it. I'm working on it. But I started it up, and I had it was maxed out because my rig is... It could do the max. It's fine. I got a good rig. And I noticed a frequent... Every three seconds, the, the, uh, the frames would, like, freak the fuck out. I thought that was a little strange. And it was a it was happening in menu. Like I could be like scrolling through the menu, and it would still flutter. So that's strange because that's implying that it's not so much the graphics of the game, but like the CPU or the hard drive might be having an issue. Anyway, I I looked in the device manager and I noticed that there's something odd going on with my Valve Index while Diablo was running. 
and then I just unplugged the valve index and started Diablo back up. It ran fine. Plugged it back in. It started doing that flipping, uh, flipping the frames. So the game doesn't run very well, right? Like in in town, like it, it doesn't has its at own all. Issues. Yeah, yeah. But I did want to uh, give it the, the benefit of the doubt at least with with my own unique problem. Mm-hmm. But I enjoyed the game. It was fun. Well, I liked that was it. strange. Yeah, I mean. Maybe they're doing VR shit and they accidentally left some in. VR Diablo would be so weird. Yeah, it would I've be seen really top strange. down well, games get VR. I, g- I've seen it before. It like the people like it. Is, is, is the, the game, game on Unreal, Unreal 4? 4? Yeah. You're press oh. T, Nari. Is the is game on Unreal 4? Oh god, I've you guys all ran off and I was completely distracted. Um <laughs> what engine's it on? I have no idea. Diablo engine. Uh, who knows? But, uh, yeah, it, it definitely, like, I enjoyed the atmosphere of the game. I'm not sure about the skill trees just yet and the end game mm. stuff. Um, obviously, I'm worried about monetization because it is Blizzard. I, I know that they have tried some things to... Oh, oh, there's the shotgun. To uh, improve their shitty culture over there and, you know, like, their... Mm. Um, monetization, but Diablo Immortal did not give me a whole lot of hope. That said, aside from the fucking terrible stutters and performance issues, I actually thought that the game's moment-to-moment gameplay and atmosphere and music were pretty much perfect for that kind of game. I know that was a long-winded way of saying that, but it, it actually, yeah, there were a lot of things that impressed me and some not so much. I think tonally it's 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 better than three in yes. terms of like feeling a little bit more grounded. Um, the cutscenes that when they worked looked good. Uh, I think I thought they worked well. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know how I feel about this, your character. And this isn't spoilers because it happens in the beta. But your character is basically the chosen one because they they eat some blood petals and now they can. Oh yeah, yeah, that happened. Position. Yeah, I, I the, skipped that, the beginning cutscenes, but I saw that one. And I'm like, oh, so they could just see holograms now of of Deus Ex Machina yeah. just going along. Okay, that's and, fine. And Whatever. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not crazy about playing a Diablo game with someone like, you know, like you have the other character alongside you for some of those quests, like talking and talking and talking and talking. There's a part of me that likes to enjoy Diablo's like, like dark atmosphere without an NPC, you know, delivering a lot of dialogue while I'm playing. Mm. That's just a personal choice, but I, I I admit I'm my main problem with the Diablo series as a whole. And people talk about this a lot in games. It's like the dissonance of the gameplay and the, and what, like how dire things are in the game. It's like, I'm able to murder so many skeletons in an instant, but, Mm. uh, you know, there's there's a there's a demons coming. You know what I mean? Like yeah. in the story. So I, I that does pull me out to a bit in terms of like the the character following you around. I'm so used to that with like World of Warcraft. And yeah, a lot of that. It's like it's I, it just goes right through me. So well, that's I, that's I think, the the wowification of. Yeah, I talked about that in my video. It's like there's definitely going to be wow elements in there, and that's going to be. For some people, good. Some people, not so much. I like quality of life stuff, but yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff that I don't like that WoW and MMOs do that I don't necessarily want my ARPG. But whatever. I mean, uh, are my you ho- ready for the old? Are you ready for the Overwatch content crossover? Please, God, stop. Is my answer. Everything <laughs> needs to be a multiverse, bro. They it, tried does that. Does anyone else uh, have... here, Okay, so truth truth is to be told, I played a decent bit of Heroes of the Storm, and I enjoyed it, but oh, that's because fuck. it was well, coming our way. What, what is, what is coming our way? Something's flipping over here. Oh, that's a Slinky! Slinky, slinky boy! Man. I was oh mentioning him earlier! It's that's double slinky man. dog! Oh, I double hate man. it. Double man. I can't see my double shotgun man, model. Double man, double man, Jesus we Christ, look at that thing. <laughs> All right. Told you about the slinky. All right, uh, Jeff. Do you know do you know where the muffin man goes next? I think we gotta go to the human centipede cave. 
That was the near first, our base. The first one? Okay. Oh, it's got a double butt! Alright, string it up along the fence, and that way one person get on one side, one person get on the other side. <laughs> get your demons out on the fence, boys! Get, get that thing in the fence now! And then, Are there any items? Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, I was Are just there gonna any items down there that I need? Gross. Uh, shot a shotgun. Gun. I'll stay over here with, so you can get over here. But you need the shovel to get it. I have the shovel. Oh. Okay. Just be careful, Sin, because it's going to be night soon and you're on your own in the middle of a spooky forest. That'll be fun. Oh, spooky. <laughs> the fucking gun, grenades, and pistols specifically, my character can't fucking see on their model. Like, I, I activate them and nothing gets flipped out. And yet they work. Uh, oh, hey, works. cannibal. It works. Have any of y'all ever gone, like, solo <laughs> camping? No. Not solo. Quite, uh, Not by myself, no. Quite the, uh, quite the experience. As a New York City boy, I got very little experience with that stuff. Back when I was, uh... Ye, ye young boy scout. <laughs> uh, I, d I did a fair bit of, like, roughing it. I, I still, I still sometimes do like solo camping, but oh. nothing like going out into like snake-infested regions or whatever. It's more just right. You're careful, out, out. like yeah. reasonable. I don't know. It's there's something to behold about like just slowly grasping for the the concept of surviving. It's not survive. It's like not survivalist by any means, but like grasping at the concept of. Living in the wild is pretty, and the solo aspect of it is pretty, pretty freeing. At least for me. No, I, I can I can see that. that. I, I like, that's why you know I think the best thing to do would be to to do ayahuasca in the middle of the forest alone, um, and bring only a knife. That seems <laughs> that's a smart idea, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, I I, I know what you mean. And die. Drink still water yeah. and die. Desert, whenever you move, you, you don't have, a like, a walk cycle. You're just, like, standing. Yeah, still. I know. My character's <laughs> fucked up. He, I, I have my shotgun out. <laughs> yeah, for that, that mo moment in time when Healy's were really popular, a lot of people didn't have a walk cycle. <laughs> <laughs> watch out, watch out. <laughs> Am I just, like, walking into them and, like, firing shotgun blasts through my stomach? Yeah, yeah. Your gun's <laughs> facing the ground as you shoot. Like, pointing straight down. Yeah, it's, it's, you're just shooting straight down. You you look like like early test footage of Goldeneye 007 because you're also in a white tuxedo. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, my character's fucked up right now. Um, uh, my uh, spookiest, uh, my spookiest memory of camping was I just remember being really late at night in a tent on the ground, and it was just you know deafening noise of just. Crickets and things were so loud everywhere, and then when they just all instantly stop making noise together, and then it's complete silence, and you're just laying on oh, the ground, yeah. pitch black, and I'm just like, I, I can't do anything. I just have to just cross my fingers and hope everything's okay. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Uh, you're at the mercy of nature at that point. I, I was camping just out in my my parents' property. We have a farm, and. There's a there's a wooded area that where the barn used to be. It's all it's just a concrete area, and then it's just all trees around. And a, a similar situation. It's all like crickets, loud, whatever. But all of a sudden, I hear a a, a rabbit getting murdered by a coyote, and it's oh, yeah. absolutely terrifying. I've heard like, some yeah, of the they noises. Shriek yeah, too. yeah, they sound like people, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> it's. I'm just imagining that goat that sounds like Homer Simpson. Uh, it's I don't know. It's just like you, you, you sounds like you're just hearing someone like a snuff film out on the on the side of the uh, on the side of your hearing. It's just horrifying. You're like, how are you supposed to sleep like that? I don't know how early humans <laughs> like accepted that that's what they're hearing. And I'm like, it, that's that's how a chupacabra gets made up. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I exactly. was going to say, yeah, cryptids definitely get like um, talked about because of weird things that are seen in the woods late at night. And, you know, you can't discount that there are some weird things that we haven't discovered.
Like I, I believe that there, over here. there are strange things that have not been discovered. But also, like, we haven't explored we, like sixty percent of our ocean. There's totally shit we haven't seen. Oh yeah, for sure. But the human mind is also like, yeah, we we just fill in the blanks, especially with noise. And like, Thank if you're like f fucking in the woods camping and you hear like the sound that Obi Wan makes to scare away the fucking um, Tusken Raiders. Then yeah, you're gonna in your mind you might start inventing stuff, and then oh shit, a big footprint. It's Bigfoot. It's not that far fetched. Yeah, how'd they come up with that name? It's really clever. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why they call him Saskatchewan. <laughs> oh, they named a whole part of Canada after. Yeah, they gave him a name, and then Satchmo as well, which is the trumpet player. That was a Rugrats episode. No <laughs> Satchmo. All animals were cryptids, if you think about it. Like, they didn't know what the yeah. fuck anything was. So. At, one point, at one point, every animal was unknown and was some kind of, like, mysterious creature. And, like, yeah, Joe like, Satriani. What if we're the cryptids? <laughs> He's a mysterious creature, for sure. To some species, we're cryptids. I think, I mean, like, ants were probably, like, Cthulhu to them. You know what I mean? If they could perceive us. Eldritch horror, like Eldritch horrors to ants. Yeah. I mean, there was that one movie. What? what ants? Ant Bully? Ant, ant Bully, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's Ant. I've never seen Ant Bully. Ant. When you were, say that, it sounds like a town in Italy. Ant Bully? <laughs> ant Bully? Yes, yeah, so I was thinking of Ant Bully. Uh, basically, it's a kid's movie where the kid kills all the ants, so the ants shrink him down to be the size of an ant. And murder him? A lesson is learned? Uh, yeah, they actually yeah. eat him alive. <laughs> it's like a... For kids show. Like a bridge to Terabithia situation. Give or take. Y'all ever watch Mars Needs Moms? <laughs> oh my god. That era of movies. Aren't oh, like that that's fucking what... era of shitty, Wait. weird CGI movies. Is that the one with the thick moms? It's, it's the one with, no. Is that the one with the no. weird animation of the guy eating something in that kid's face? No, that's Monster House. That's Monster, Monster House? House? Okay. Yeah. Elon Musk cites it as like the reason why he's like building spaceships and stuff too. It explains Mars these moms? Yeah, that's like why he has like a passion for it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Fucking hell. He's looking. He's looking for <laughs> thick moms. milves on Mars. I thought seriously, I thought there were like thick moms on Mars in that movie. Like, what, is that like the DreamWorks mom? Like thick, thick uh, thighs. This That's isn't just like most a, incredible. Okay, I don't know. Okay, this isn't like. You are correct, Vinny. That's the thing. He is correct. He's not. He's not making that up. This isn't like a. I know what he's talking about. Kink thing, right? Oh, Elon's. <laughs> You might be onto something there. Okay, Here, let me check because a lot of like animators, like DreamWorks or otherwise, have had some like they put like some thick fucking milves in their films. Here, let me just type. Let me do, <laughs> um, uh, moms <laughs> love but Mars. Trying to thick. increase the birth rate. <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> milves on Mars. Here, Mom, milves, Mars, <laughs> Mars, Mars needs milfs. Mars needs moms. Uh, thick, <laughs> thick thighs breeding. Sorry, I'm dying. I'm dying, Squirtle. Oh my god. Huge butt, booty butt. I cheek. regret that search. hundred and fifty thousand <laughs> percent. Mars needs twerking milfs. <laughs> okay, so they I had the. I hadn't heard of I haven't heard the term breeding kink until fairly recently. <laughs> <laughs> and all, oh god. And oh, all no. I all, okay, no. yeah, sure. all, you can't all back I, this up now, dude. <laughs> okay. But all I all I thought was like that's just that's just fucking, right? Like that's it's just being a, a, that's a living just, thing. What, what like being obsessed with fertility? No, I thought I honestly thought it was like that's isn't that the point? Like, to a certain degree? You know what I mean? Well, like, yeah, humans are co hard coded to have that, right. I suppose. I, I thought that. What, where yeah. is the, like, where does asphyxiation come into play here? I didn't realize. I, I didn't realize it went further. You know yeah, what I mean? I didn't. Things, I, 
things got weird along the way. They always go. Forward. But originally, it started. <laughs> it started as that, and now it's thick mom milves, 3D DreamWorks animations, breeding king, cock and ball torture. Um, mom's needs Mar. <laughs> mom's needs Mars mom. bars. So, I, I was. By the way, my search turned out empty. Mom I was thinking more. of something different. And listen. I know this is a bizarre thing, and people are gonna like be like, Vinny, what the fuck is wrong with you? But no, there was a whole thing where there was a certain era of movies, animated movies, where they were making, like, really They're thick... They're putting stuff in there. They're putting... Yeah. Yeah, thick moms. Yeah, like Miss Incredible. Like, that so, was, that was the thing. Miss Incredible was well, the, like, progenitor of that. Yeah, that I was, like, the, the first Mars one. Movie. I mean, they're still doing it. Are you trying... Sin, what are you doing? You're just trying to, like, exercise me? Sin has got a fucking crucifix and is, like... <laughs> trying to exercise me of I these thick mom demons. I gotta get my, I gotta get a cross out one second. <laughs> I mean, you never seen a thick mom though. It's like real right. life, man. No, Here I know go. I have, but DreamWorks and like like um. <laughs> we we ranked oh. every Pixar mom. Uh, we pick we ranked every Pixar movie. Watch mom Mojo an top dumb top animated milks. Watch Mojo. See, God, it's real. Damn. You don't have to exercise me. Exercise the people making them thick fucking pudding mamas. <laughs> the queen from a bug's life is in here as shake. an example of a mom with a uh, giant ass. This is a hell of an article. They have the robot from robots. I mean, who's don't posting post. these images of this movie? I mean, that that is kind of dumpy. The, Mary, yeah, don't, those, don't post, post bug's life. Not a bug's <laughs> life. What? Get that shit out of here. <laughs> it's, it's in the article about the top Pixar mom Why the asses. fuck? Is, what, because they have a goddamn th thorax abdomen? But they all do. All the ants do. He, then, then, by that all nature, the the Flick do. has an enormous ass. This has gotten real cursed real quick. Why is there a bear? <laughs> you know, lads, I think we, we might have gotten slightly <laughs> off track seriously. here. Well, How come everyone in Animal track. Crossing has a dumpy? I don't know. But I'm... Like... Oh, what? That's that's. I'm not, the I'm not too sure about it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh. You, yeah, Vin, I, I think you're valid here. You got to see this image. Good lord, good lord. Good, good lord. All right, let me see. I don't know. Is this far from the Lord? Well, I guess we'll see how how far we stray from the light of Christ. Um, I mean, there's something wrong. But I saw a lady that looked like that today. Who cares? She's fine. That's fine. Yeah, but but You're Jeff, right. this is going from like a two inch diameter waist to like the thickest fucking thighs. Look at look at this. Every I'm actually going to show this. <laughs> What's this from? <laughs> what is? It's a Pixar short. Of course, that's fucking. That's Pixar. not real. That's not real. That, no. Well, Jeff saw it no, the other that... day, so. No, it is real. It's a real short. Jeff, wherever Jeff workings. was, with, was lousy with uh, <laughs> tiny waists and thick <laughs> thighs. Jeff went to thick milk. He's like all the time. You kidding me? Lousy with thick moms. Uh, Jesus That's where I want to be. Oh my God. I'd like to be. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. Just oh my fucking what? God. These character designs. That's great. Yeah, this is not real. real. This is these this are, can't be. No, this they're is, real. This that is looks the real. art station from the artist. It's stylized. I, this is I, the person I, who designed I, them. I don't understand what I'm looking at anymore, and I, I'm at this point. This looks like that David Bowie outfit. What was do, the, do you know um, the one with the big legs? Here, I'll show you. Big legs outfit. I want to show you the outfit. As, as an animation major, he used to tour at Pixar. That is exactly what they... It is real. It's one hundred percent real. These sort of concept brothers are always. Oh my god, <laughs> that's to um, that's to confuse predators. Is he predators. who started that fucking meme? Because I see people making fun of that look all the time. This animator? No, his big legs. I, oh I, no, that's <laughs> that. That was just some like concept outfit that some artist was like, "Would you like to model this?" And he did. If, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> that's all that was. He actually like, makes it look good, though. Clothing, that's what's heads. fucked up. He actually can rock it. We, yeah, we already talked about the talking heads a little earlier, too. The stop making sense. Which is going to be, you know, big suit. Maybe not thick thighs, but, you know, big suit. That's fine. I mean, what's under the big suit? 
Um, yeah, that's tiny, a good point. The tiny guy. Big personality. <laughs> the, uh, there's a song from Peter Gabriel called Big Time. I think that'll answer your question. Yes, um, me just at, casually asking people, my friends and my audience, to listen to Dad Rock. Nah, go listen to this music from before you was born. Remember that song from Doug, Think Big? Think Big is yeah. actually, I, I'm pretty sure, yeah. a, like a reference to the Peter Gabriel song. It, I think it was. Or, or, <laughs> it or to David Byrne wearing the suit, yeah. It's the same song as banging on a trash can, drumming on a street light. Yeah, and eventually... well, not, it's not the same one, but, um, I mean, I same show. I think it does. I think the song turns into that, like, you gotta think It does? Big. Yeah, and banging then they come out with a big trash suits. can, yeah. Ah, shit, you're right, it might have. Remember, um, if you watched my commercial thing yesterday, the fucking... We saw a proto-Doug, whose name was Brian, I guess. It was like some commercial with, uh, original Doug promoting it. It was really weird. Brian? Yeah, Brian. he looked- he, br uh, Look his, how- I missed that one. His original name, before he, Doug was a TV show on Nickelodeon, it was just some artist's character. And, uh, he- right. I think his name was Brian. And he was in some advertisement from, you know, the 80s, the, uh, 88, that I showed yesterday. So it's oh, yeah, somewhere Disney's in that Brian. video. Disney's Brian. Yeah, he's got a big fat fucking ass. If it's Disney, well, Disney got Doug way later. Yeah. Yeah, they fucked up Doug too. Yeah, they they did. Them weird. They did. I didn't like they the Disney version at all. Too. That was like really fucked up. I, I was Run totally. Down. Yeah, they gave him a wedgie. I, I was totally done with Doug when I when he went to Disney. I was like, all right, I'm I'm out. How many times is that actually? Oh, yeah. It was stupid. <sighs> I I didn't grow up with cable, so. Doug is not Arnold. Arnold no. is... Arnold is football head. Doug is the one who Mr. Dink is in. Okay. And okay. Mr. Dink turns into a chair and has Doug sit on the chair. <clears throat> okay. It's a show that cursed my Yeah, life, that makes really. sense. No, it doesn't. Thank I you. just made that up. Uh, oh, you well, can Mr. just Dink tell me lies about Doug. I wouldn't know. I don't fucking know. Well, Mr. Dink is from Doug. Mr. Dink is from Doug? Yes. yes. Yeah, he is. Okay. Douglas? No, he just doesn't turn He's himself like into a... a chair. Oh, wait, no, that's his teacher. Oh, okay. Mr. He's Dink is from Doug, yeah. Character in the show. I mean, yeah, sleep, I mean, double time. income, no kids. Sleep time. God, if you Google Mr. Dink chair, there are so many Google image results for this. What have you done? <laughs> is this my fault, you think? Yeah, yes. The chair. Specifically chair, yes. Mr. The Dink Chair. The Jokers did a skit with a Mr. Dink Chair, too. If you look it There's up. a lump in the chair. Sit on that. Not the Mr. Like Dink Chair, pretended, but like... He pretended to be the Mr. Dink Chair and like people sat at him. Yeah. That was an episode. Yeah. He turned himself into a chair <laughs> with his invention. It was the funniest shit we've ever seen. Wow, yeah, I've ruined the Mr. Dink search. Like, I, I think just... When you, like, started doing Mr. Dink memes, there was, like, a renaissance of, like, Doug content that happened around that time. And then suddenly there was this Newgrounds collab with the You Broke My Grill scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember it that. It came, like, yeah, like a month later. <laughs> I... Behind the music. It's like, collectively, the internet got, like, Doug crazy. What was the... The inciting incident that caused Dink to come into memedom. I was talking about yachts. I that's think it, it was a very cursed video that we can't really quote. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't. That's where it came from. But we started doing it in PUBG a lot. We were talking about Doug all the time when we were playing PUBG together. In the GTA 5, also. So I remember we were talking about Dink stuff uh, in GTA Online. There might be All some right. of that. I, there's probably uh, been a lot of, like, Dink recurrences. I feel like that's been one of my oldest, like, references from... The Dink recurrences. It just, keeps, it just keeps coming back in some weird way, but... It all comes back to Dink. Yeah, it's do, just a do, fun voice a to do. Heading? And I don't even sound like him. I have my own... Like, my, my version of Mr. Dink's voice is a little then... different. Yeah, let's go to the uh, 3D printed cave. Okay. It begins yeah. with you and ends with me, Douglas. 
Douglas, do you know where I end and you begin? No, Mr. Dink. <laughs> Is there a door? Door's over here. <laughs> I gotta send you those prints later. The ones that you made? Yeah, I made more. You made oh, more? God. I made more. Once a man is born, he begins to die. The flesh begins to rot, Douglas. <laughs> Sit on the porch with your old pal, Mr. Dink, and let me tell you about life. <laughs> Why is uh, it so fucking funny? Gee, Mr. God. Dink, I don't, I don't know if I want to sit on your porch with you today. That's yesterday. You told me about how you got sent to Guantanamo Bay for being a war criminal. <laughs> uh -oh. Douglas, that's just semantics. <sighs> Let me tell you about the real shit. <laughs> Did you know about Vietnam, Douglas? God. He there's was just... in Nam, actually. He, he, there's an episode. He has, a, he has like a Vietnam like army hat. Yeah, he was he's hiding he, like he in was the trees. Scout, he was a scout master. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, he's naked in that episode. He gets naked in that episode, actually. He does. Yeah, he does. Oh, he's in the tree, right? And he's got he's a leaf. Got, take off my clothes, Douglas. He's got like, like, yeah, like a leaf thing. He's got a leaf on his cock. Man, and you know what? I will yeah, say, yeah, 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 the leaf cock. <laughs> Doug was one of. I mean, I know the Mister Think, Mister Dink thing has become very bastardized, and it's silly. But I genuinely think that's one of the best shows Nickelodeon ever put out. Like it was just so. There's just something about that little world that they created. It's a that was just so offbeat, and like kind of like spoke to me at the time, like as a kid. It was like you know really what, funny. Like, what? what the concept of the show was, right? It's like actually someone's like life experiences almost, but like exaggerated a bit. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, the guy uh, who actually Doug is based on, there's a real Patty Mayonnaise and he tried to meet her like after years of not seeing them. And then she was like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Yeah, she was oh, like married, no. and he was like, "Oh well, that, that, no!" That's he like, put her in his show. That's like Bill Heath, the guy from Nathan. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, you know? The, uh, Oh man, I gotta find this. There was like a whole thing about it. There's just arrows here. Why did I walk uh, in this room? Uh, if you come over, if you come over to our area, same here. I was deep. just about to say that. <laughs> This Not only is... that, but according to an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Doug's longtime crush, huh. Patty and Mayonnaise, was based on a real person, and Jenkins had a very real, very hilarious, and very awkward encounter with her years later when they were all grown up. Mm. Amazing. He uh, tried life... to meet her again, and she was, like, married. Yeah. Life friendships <laughs> do not put real people in your fan fiction. Yeah. <laughs> Doug is amazing, man. Well, the beats oh, yeah, were, like, really here. good music in that show, I remember, too. No, yeah. Yeah. Beats were good. People have done uh, like covers of the beat songs, like to make them just even crazier, and they add their own solos and extended versions and stuff. It's really no really nice. Yeah, I like when people do that because like I grew up with that stuff, like Ren and Stimpy, um, Pete and Pete was always great. That was like a show that made me start thinking about life in like a weird way. So like I don't know. I like I'm hey I don't. Arnold Hey Arnold was good too, and, and like that's the thing. That whole era was was good, and I don't I don't know what stuff is on TV now that kids are watching, but I'm uh, glad. It depends. It depends. I'm, I'm glad I Some... grew up with that stuff. I enjoyed that stuff. The Did fuck he enjoy was that? It? What was I that think runners? that guy might know. We should ask him. We got runners. Sir, do you know what kids are watching nowadays on TV? Oh God, no! Don't, don't hurt me. They don't watch TV. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. They watch Coco Melon. Did I they watch Cocaine Bear? I had a moment yesterday when I was doing the ads, and we got to the mobile ads, and it was just like twenty second long, thirty second long ad, and every single one second interval, a new sound or visual element was introduced, and it was just meme after meme after sound after sound with no room to breathe. After that, I was just like, I, that's. This is awful. Like, how could Vin, this be good for I'm, the human brain? I'm telling you, Big have guy. Jackal start split screening all of the uploads on TikTok with corruption footage, and your TikTok will double in views. <laughs> well, if Jackal that's wants bad. to do that, that's up to Jackal. Uh, I, I don't even know what to say. Why would that work? 
Why would that work? Stimulation. What is this thing? Oh, God. It's all about constant stimulation. I agree. It's all about constant stimulation. <laughs> <laughs> Double move. Well, it's funny when you look at commercials from like the 1940s or whatever, like they're really long. He's like, let me tell you about coffee. Today. Hey there, son. Commercials like three minutes long. Yeah. Let me tell you about Wilkins Coffee, see? This is the only coffee for you because you need... So the coffee <laughs> and then there the moment started murdering each other over coffee so there, that's true there is a, a missing like storytelling i like advertising like in concept i like i like looking at old advertising and you doing these these ad streams is pretty interesting to me because you can see like you said model like 1940s advertising is like here's the product here's what it can do for you here's a script we wrote out detailing all these different things we want to sell to you and then you can see this decline in information being given about product yo and it's... oh hey vin i found a new bandmate for you what yeah there's a guitar over here i found a guitar too with the right pools of both right. yeah check it out yeah right here i think this i think this guy's looking for a band <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy cause today I found my friends. Sorry. <laughs> He's surrounded by money too. It's still so I've wrong. never I've heard you hit show. that note before. What the I, fuck? I have, I have no problem making an ass out of myself l when Would it's you, just me, but I just feel bad when it's you guys that's subjected to this live. Like, I think it's fucking great. Keep doing call. it. Are you guys in a cave? Guitar? Yes. Yeah. How did we, you we went to the 3D printing uh, place and there's like a new area because of the oh, keyboard. I'm like standing you... above you guys, above ground. Where'd y'all get the guitar right. from? It's just uh, on the it's table. By the bar. Uh, okay, we need a key on card the bar. to get through this door here. So, so... Oh, there is oh, okay, thank you. Nice. If Has anyone found a key card in here? No. Nope. As that door needs one. Also, Zot, uh, to, to speak to your point, I, I found I, a key card over here. I also am fascinated by the evolution of ads and how different they are. But I, I just want to say, I'm also interested in music for advertisements. Like, how do you yes. make a song that's so hopelessly catchy that it can get stuck in someone's head within 30 seconds? That's like... Four chords. So there there was that, that whole thing about the Disney jingle, uh, Defunct Land Dead. Yeah, yeah, that was an amazing With video. But the the section on it, he talked about that there's like one company that's done most jingles you've heard of, like one company, one production company, has done like like the we are farmers, blah blah, mm. blah, 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 blah. the IBM, the Intel, like like sound, like da da da, mm -hmm. like all that's like owned by one conglomerate, right? That so just they know produces these jingles. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Did y'all get the key card over here? Yeah. I no. have opened where the door it? up. It's, it's where on the I table am. right it's, it's over, over here. here. I have it's opened the door. Table. I was there. listening to an interview with John Williams about the um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind music. And uh, specifically the da 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 da. And he mentioned, like, since it was a conversation, it was supposed to be a conversation between the aliens and the humans. Dun dun dun. That sounds like the end of a phrase, but when you do dun dun, it sounds like a question, like you're throwing it back to the other party. Yeah, I thought that was really fascinating. I didn't consider that. It's like it's fucking really interesting. It's still one of my all-time favorite like, movies. We open the key card door over so here. Good. Oh, the shark was the brown note, and that's like how they made that that song originally. <laughs> <laughs> There is a part, you, you you joke, but there is a part when the aliens go da 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 bra bra. Well, sure, that was like a like psychological warfare thing. Like they were. Oh my god. Goodbye. They were trying to figure it out, but it wasn't working, so they, they let him make the movie about it. Oh, okay. Fair enough. What was you in know, the key card room? Oh, this was. Uh, just some random items and. You know, Babies. on that topic, a little of, bit of overkill. Yeah, on that topic of the TikTok overstimulation. I mean, thinking about the video game ads from the '90s, the Jaguar ones, the Sega ones, mm -hmm. those things were the same exact thing. 
You know what? Nonstop constant they're, they're, noise. Zany. Yeah, they, they they were Quick they're heading that direction, but they definitely still had some. It's it's not just like like they the had structure. They had structure, so it, but there was a lot watching, of quick cuts and but, craziness. Yeah. And watching yeah. the quick evolution was just like looking at it from a broader perspective, like watching an old video game commercial to a modern video game commercial, and then seeing the trajectory that we're we're Ooh. going on. That's the the wacky shit. Because there's products. Here. Oh, the shit. chainsaw! What the fuck are we gonna do with the chainsaw? You know, this what we're game gonna... will get you hard. Oh, and, uh, you, you oh use I mean, the chainsaw on your mobile cut. game. Can you actually? All well, the it's trees for trees. Cutting down. Yeah, the trees. It's all the trees. You just spent like eight hours cutting trees. You, you also you had like a fair few amount of like dairy board commercials on your stream, which oh. just like God. thinking about all of, like the dairy commercials and the beef commercials uh, is just learning about how all that became came to be is really interesting. Like they're you, like. There's milk commercials, and then there's cereal commercials, guys. Uh, what the uh, fuck is that? What? What is happening? Where are you? The screen in here is, um... Oh, something's happening in here. Okay, going in. Uh... I hear, like, roaring. Yeah. Like a roar. Stomped. You hear that? Roar. Rip it open. A low roar. The chainsaw. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Cut. Remember in Gremlins 2 with the thing? Yeah, mm -hmm. with the, the theater. Oops, Maybe sorry. there's a oh, chainsawable spot? Oh. Not this wall. Nah, never mind. That was okay, weird. Yeah. What the fuck was that sound? There's a little alley over here we haven't gone down. Little alley. Which one? This one? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's babies! Chainsaw well, that baby! Bambinos pequeño! Oh. Didn't you know that the chainsaw was invented for helping with pregnancy? <laughs> that, that was the... Speaking of advertisements, that was the initial advertisement for it. <laughs> oh, there are more in here. You just hold right click, not... you hold your chainsaw in front of you. Yeah, babies aren't weak to chainsaws, so. <laughs> They're immune to chainsaws. I mean, I had a history teacher once tell me that you could, like, potentially cut off, like, an infant's finger and it would grow back because of T cells. I don't, I don't recommend Why, doing that, but. <laughs> yeah, he's just, oh, like, I was like, just got there. Yeah, Shani. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe they are resilient to damage. That's what kind of history were they teaching? I don't know. This guy was so weird. We doing this? I don't even know why he got on this subject. He was like something about T cells, and I'm like, what? This is like American history. <laughs> we're we're learning about like fucking Lewis and Clark. That, that oh, person. Load. That, pl that person boy. was eventually removed from the school board, but don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I actually had a history teacher like that as well, who just went fucking off the rails until he was eventually kind of removed from the school because he would just show us the craziest fucking shit. Um, oh, yeah. Movies my, my, that my, we should Mine showed me Star Trek. Oh, ours showed us Mandingo. <laughs> Mandingo? Uh, yeah, Today's lesson very... plan is the Nazi episode of TOS. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> this dude was insane. I thought you said Mondo Kane. <laughs> also another film you probably should be seen again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's a weird it's supposed to be a historical film focused on the slave trade, but it's oh. they, you don't show that to a classroom full of tenth graders. No, probably not, because that turns into bullshit. My, uh, oh man, my this thing fucks. Would go on like Holy shit. long tangents. What's up, Desert? It cuts this down. This thing's trees. great. Oh. Oh, oh, it's a chainsaw. This teacher was also, though, but uh, he's Australian as fuck, and he was apparently uh, Russell Crowe and Hugh Jackman's rugby coach. So he uh, would always bring that up. 
This is a giant crevasse that saw that. You what base, what were you gonna say about your teacher? Oh, he, he goes on like he used to go on really long tangents, but like it would be because someone asked him a question about something and then he would just go off. Mm. So what I would do is like, make a good streamer class. <laughs> In the beginning of class, I'd ask him a question, and then he'd go on his tangent, and then I'd just go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't miss anything. <laughs> Sir, tell me about... Uh, what is it... What, what is Mount Everest's uh, highest peak, and why is it filled with garbage? And then you wake up, and then you finally get your answer. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going, Jeff? Digging up some graves. Oh, God. So, so nonchalant. Look out, look out, look out. Yeah, there's weird uh, cannibals and stuff. And Fuck yes, this is like serious, Sam. Yeah, that's that's a pretty amazing... The chainsaw is... It just... This thing is great! Cuts right does through. Get back fuel? here! Guy behind you there. Huh? Yeah, does yeah, it run out of fuel? Back here. I haven't seen any, like, gas canisters. I don't think so they implemented that, not. actually. This is about to come fucking the hills of eyes. Texas um, Chainsaw Massacre up here. I I can probably play for like another hour, so if we want to like attempt to finish this, we we can try. It's up to you guys, or if if you want, we can like, you know, oh. try next week or something. I don't. I think, think we can. Um, whatever you want to do. I what think do we can th get started, but we won't be able to finish it tonight. Or... Okay. So we have to go to the other side of the island. And mm -hmm. there's another bunker we have to go into, and then there's like one more, and we're done. Let's do the travel then. Yeah, we gotta like get our shit and go over there, I guess. Wanna we'll go get some again. supplies at the base? Yeah, let's go to the sure. base. I don't know if we want to go yeah. directly over the mountain, or if we want to go around it. Oh but god. There's like a mist over here, Jeff. You see that mist? Yeah. Huh. Can someone get me out? What? Oh, I tripped. <laughs> I'm, I'm near you. <laughs> I fell down. Mary, the it's like it's like real life again. Yeah. That's awful. Are you okay, by the way? <laughs> or you get like healing? Um, it hurts less, so theoretically. It's a positive, at least. I get to pay more medical bills in two and a half weeks. Ooh! Ah, fuck. Sin, can you come back real quick? Oh, uh, what? Oh, did you just drop down and die? Yeah. Get some healing, dude. I, I, I forgot to take my medications. Oh, God, there's a guy. Can you tell him yeah. to hold off? I gotta take my medications. I got him. Get his pouches. Thank you. It'd be a shame if I threw a pebble at you. While you were trying to heal with pills. <laughs> yeah, would. that would be a fucking <laughs> shame. That Could makes be no fucking sense. <laughs> it would be a shame. Oh, no. I've been smacked lightly. I guess my healing better fucking stop. Well, that base looks like, like a real base from afar. It does look like, like the one. Like it looked like the one me, my grandpappy made Ow, when I hands. was a little boy. Make sure you remember my grandpa built a house when he was like in his 20s or something like that. And he always tells a story about how to celebrate. They started like a campfire outside and they're all standing around it. And just out of nowhere, like a squirrel runs through the fire, gets lit on fire, goes under the house, starts the house on fire. Oh, what? Wow. That's, oh my God. That's, that's like burned it down. A, a Greek tragedy. Did the house <laughs> get destroyed? <laughs> I don't think it was how as old easily destroyed. Playing out of nowhere. Not yeah. Yet. <laughs> it wasn't like a huge uh, house. I mean, this is like Depression era kind oh, of stuff, right. or like a small single that family makes it worse. cabin size. Like a shack. Yeah, because yeah. it's like all they That's had. All they had. That's a shame. You, remember, you could like buy a house from Sears. Yeah, just, they like, would just like build it, bring it on a truck, and yeah, just like put it in pieces, and it, and it cost like. Not a lot. <laughs> they have. Um, I see on some websites they do have like modular homes that you could, you could buy. They're not, you know, like 
yeah. good luck shitting in There's, one of those. In, but in New in New York, they actually have one of the first fo sold 3D printed houses, and it's made out of 3D 3D printed concrete. Oh, that's, okay. That's those good. Are fun to watch. It's like they have this. Yes, they are. I saw like, that video. System. Yeah. yeah. It's a cool. Uh, it's a cool piece of tech. I mean, speaking of that, um, you know, there's a uh, Kane Pixels on YouTube that's making like a really well-known back rooms kind of series, which I know it's kind of a tired old theme, but they're really well-made videos. But I thought it was a cool concept. It's that their explanation for the back rooms it was like a government project to try to rapidly produce homes for people. So it's just mm -hmm. endlessly producing like walls and floors and kind of just like generic building materials, but stuff this is too, like this out is, of this is, this is too unrealistic for me. The government wouldn't try and make homes for people. <laughs> True. <laughs> um, so that's kind of like why there's just kind of this like soulless, endless landscape of stuff because it's this like automated construction machine that just got way out of hand. And then for some reason, there's like weird supernatural stuff too. But the basis of the story, I thought was really cool. It's, I kind of like in in Portal how it like constructed the the rooms and just imagining that as like a machine that kind of just kept going. Yeah. Is that kind of the idea? Yeah, it was like it wasn't intended to con like to go nonstop forever. It was just sort of like it got out of hand and it was a secretive project so they couldn't like publicly talk about the problems it was having mm. and then people start getting lost in it and then there's like people go crazy and fight each other and that's and I know someone in the comments of the video will probably point out that there's like a, a manga, it's called like Blom, but spelled like blame, where it's like a a dystopian future of like a mega structure that is never ending and the whole series is about like people that try to survive in an endless building. But blame that sounds like a Junji Ito comic I read once. Blame has a uh if it, it is what I'm thinking it is. Pretty sure there was one night I stayed up really late and I was just browsing stuff and that like they had a movie playing and it was like a twenty five minute fight scene in CG. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I, it was very strange, but I think that's what I was watching. My, yeah, I know the, the series is really well known for its art. Like it's all about okay. really detailed sci-fi construction. Like when you think of Greebles, but like to an extreme where mm. it's just very, very detailed, massive structures. Uh, on the topic of like I, I like this like Half-Life stories or like Science, sciencey people doing secret sciencey stuff that fucks everything up, and yeah, that's one of my favorite of genres. Yeah, oh, like it, dolphins and LSD. Dolphins and LSD. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what else? What else? There, I don't know. Like scientists, it, it's some research facility in Idaho. They 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 figure out like how to communicate with a like a a godlike being or whatever, and they're just like futzing about and they don't know what they're doing. I love that kind of fucking around where you shouldn't be, but it's relatively smart people doing the, the fucking about. Good stuff. Quality. Like Dead Space? Yeah. Like fucking marker? I, I think I, I think specifically, like, when it's focused on, like, the researchers and, and their decision making. Like, the, the rational, like, rational thinking they try to apply to an unrational or irrational... Like, uh... Oh, yeah, I get you. Yeah. Fallout 4's story was actually kind of like that, too. I mean, I just recently watched a full playthrough of it. But and it's interesting to see people try to, like, genuinely defend different factions, like the Institute and stuff. And it, I feel like there's more of a, a gray area to that. It's not as extreme as, like, big corporation wants to destroy everything versus the people that don't want to destroy everything. Like, it was a little... I like how it was a little more nuanced than that. But, so, yeah. I, there's, like, a... Like a a thinking thing I I've, I've heard about where it's like if you were if you were a group of people and you were given some object that says it's from the future and it gives you directions on how to it's like a genie's lamp sort of thing a scientific person wouldn't just follow what was written on the instructions right they would want to test it and analyze it right but that could end up risking harm but the other other side of the argument is just follow as the instructions are told 
And that just that simple choice between trying to understand the weird or just accepting the weird is how a lot of these right. stories are built. I, I, I like that decision making. I don't know. It's like it always gets me in like horror films and stuff is how they always portray the characters that will just unconditionally believe everything that's happening in front mm. of them. And I, yeah. I like it when they have a character that at least tries to acknowledge the absurdity of the situation. I mean, not like, are we in a film or anything, but like... Uh, <laughs> that just happened. This, yeah. <laughs> just like a horror movie. That oh, was no. amazeballs. Wait, which one of you is the virgin? Oh, yeah, oh, isn't a uh, cabin in the woods kind of like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's well it's done though. Amazing though. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's a it's, it's a meta narrative in, on it. it. Yeah, yeah. It's all done in campiness. And so no, it's while oh, we're while we're talking uh, and discussing various topics, should we start heading over to the other side of the island? Do we want to like wait till nighttime and then sleep and then start first thing? I'm yeah, let's see foresting this forest. Let's do a little improvement, but yeah, I think we should have a full day. It's do like this three track. p.m. right now in game. Yeah. Okay, here's what my idea is: we go to the other side of the island, we build some kind of temporary outpost, and then we we save and return next week. Okay. Did you guys get the cross? Finale. Yeah. Yes. A yes. uh, cross. Yeah, that like was one of the, like the second cave we went in. I think it's the same one where you get the. Um, I don't think gun. I have a cross. What does it do? It should be next to your axe. It's kind of spoilers. You it's, don't necessarily it, need it, but it's going to make something easier. It okay. summons Jesus. Nope. The, the shotgun <laughs> is the perfect replacement for it too. So. It's, it's just like, you, like a faith crossover. Communicate with uh, AI Jesus with it. <laughs> what I'm about to do is Tar not been approved the, by the no, Vatican. Jesus. The the AI Jesus. There is a a sci-fi series that's really good. It's called Hyperion. Or um is it Hyperion? That sure sounds it. like a thing that I've heard of um, before. It it it's like super far future, but like the Catholic Church still exists in a way. And it's like the the series is kinda like trying to justify belief in this in a sci-fi realm where there's like a literal literal devil exists not like the christian devil but like a literal like ai yeah. demon exists and is it has existed forever and it's about like the struggle of all these different characters trying to understand like a cult based around it and it has has to do with like all these different heady sci-fi concepts, but yeah, like an A instead of like an AI Jesus, it's AI Devil just <laughs> showed up on a planet and is. That sounds like a really bad episode of Voyager. That yeah, sounds like does. Xeno Saga, actually. It's, it's it's a much it's like a it's a grand sci-fi story. It's a it's a that hundred percent sounds like Star Ocean or Xeno Saga. It's uh I don't want to get too too spoilers. The the, the character is called the Shrike. And it's basically, uh, I don't know if it, it's like an entity that exists beyond time, but it's trapped on this planet. And it takes people to his nest, and they're tortured for eternity on what, you know what shrikes are, the birds that like are... Mm -hmm. Yeah. They murder birds. They rip apart. Yeah. Their, yeah. And these people are constantly in a state of, like, they're, got, they're like, they can't die because they're constantly being healed. And so it's just permanent torture. And they're, yeah. it's like, yeah, it's, it's fucked up. But yeah, good story. Highly recommend. Quinn's Ideas has talked about it a bunch of times. I've heard of that. Oh, I've watched that oh. channel. Uh, uh. We can talk about AI Jesus, but you make well, your own... I just want to ask. Mm -hmm. I want to ask AI Jesus for various things. I want, like, dude. He might be live right now. I want to ask AI Jesus about various scrotal questions. I have, I have questions about the scrotum. He is live and he has fourteen viewers, so you could go ask him questions. 
Yeah, can you link me? Yes. I'm sure nobody's tried asking him really like crude sexual questions. No, no, no one. Not definitely all. not. But I'll tell you what, I, I don't want like they're, they're, my questions won't be crude. It's just going to be like, hey, scientific science. Tell me about the scrotals. Wow, there he is. How do you ask him a question? Uh, you um, reach out you pray, him. reach out and touch faith. <laughs> AI Jesus, what is a scrotum? You get on your knees. And what? And you open your mind. You remove your rib. <laughs> well, I don't know what to ask. I don't want to ask him what a scrotum is, but what? Like, how do I word this? Uh, what is a um? Ask what is about the, Uranus? The be like, why are these balls in Uranus, <laughs> but spelled it like spelled like a planet? AI Jesus, the, why are the balls in Uranus? What are the celestial balls in Uranus? <coughs> he's why not answering there? questions. I think he's like kind of slacking on the. His mouth oh, looks, looks really weird. weird too. Look at his mouth. Yeah, he like I know. I guess I'll on my Jesus now. No. I think <laughs> what's been happening is a lot of these AI streams that get banned happen when the creators aren't there to watch it. So a lot of them are like, oh, the AI is only active, you know, when someone's in chat to shut it down if it gets out of hand. Who is, is like this a weird guy? Thing to think about. Is this just some guy that like excuse me, they filmed? I guess. It's the real Jesus. I, I need to. Yeah, he was way more talkative earlier. It must be. Uh, He's in some kind of loop right now. So, someone in chat said, holy shit, he fixed. So I think he might have broken. Yeah, it looks like. Looks like he broke at some point. Is that why there's broke. suffering in the world? They just haven't rebooted the Jesus AI? That's, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Wow, my my UI is in the forest right now. It's just fucked. It just like I just have messages permanently put like plastered onto my screen. It's not good. What? Oh, like gather rocks, nine of two. Gather sticks, added to fish, added to backpack times three. Like it's just it's not fucked, fucked, but it's it's a little. It's they're just gonna not going away. I think uh I think we are about to get ready to sleep. Jeff, what you up to? What you doing? Making a uh, zip thing. Oh. Okay, I'm currently ready. Yeah, There's I'm a lot of back. downtime in a game like this, ready but do you think we'll have time to get to the other side of the island in like a half hour? I don't know. Or just be running yeah. in a straight line, I imagine. Do we have to go into the mountains? Like, where is it exactly? The uh, east side of the mountain, the island. Island. <laughs> uh. Whoa. Amazon. Uh, I'm just listening to Green Day real quick. Right. <laughs> no, really, I I had a I pulled up a song. It was, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Is it basket case? No, it was warning. Live without warning. Warning. Live with. Yeah, I just wanted to see what key it was in. It's an A. Yeah, look at the zip line. Look how far it goes. Well, let's eat first before we do that. We have all this cured food. No. These cured meats. Just smoking meats. I guess the Smoke cured ones you want to bring with you on the trek, no? Yep. We're about to apply the sweet baby rays. <laughs> Who was that that just said that? <laughs> this is Mark Zuckerberg. That was Mark Zuckerberg. 
Who's, but who did the impression of him? No one. That was Mark Zuckerberg. I know, he just came in. He was really here. Oh, cool. I guess he can do that. Yeah. I, I can... Hello, my name is Mark Zuckerberg, and I can join... <laughs> and I can join any Discord call I want at any time. Oh, are you fuzzy right now? <laughs> <laughs> waka waka! My name is Nathan Fielder, and I can join any Discord call at my own discretion. <laughs> Jeff, I like how it goes through a tree. <laughs> I have a lot of, like, packaged food in my inventory, so I don't really need- Yeah, I have cans of meat and stuff, and, like, dog food. Just but, yeah. Way. I'm I'm ready. Do we want to bring Virginia Virginia with us if she's anywhere near? Yeah, she has infinite ammo. She just comes with us, right? Well, you can't really. I don't mean both of them. Oh but, God, why? Yes. She plays by her own rules. She's kind of just not here. No, she's on the bridge. She's over here. Does Ryan bridge. get a gun? No. No. Ah. Oh. He's support, not DPS. Um, Je where are you guys? How far off are you guys right we're, now? We're taking the zipline train over here. Yeah. How far that's did you make someone killed? It. Jeff, that's going to get someone murdered. Okay. They're going to hit Holy that wall. They're, they're going to fall straight down. I guess we'll say. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I, I should have said the thing. Technically, we could probably do a, like a very advanced zipline network. That's what I started doing. That's actually how a lot of people play this game. They make just like zip line rail lines. These gravity defined zip lines. If you look at the river, I started making a zip oh, line you did. all the way up the river. You did. I didn't realize you could shoot the zip lines that quick or that far. Oh yeah, it's stupid. Oh hey. You go through trees too. You do. But uh, that's okay, there's some rocks and stuff here, so. Look at that terrifying video of someone on a zip line and you're watching the rope like fray apart while they're going across. Oh it. shit, Ad Jesus oh, woke God. up. What did he Ask say? Him the meaning of life. Zip lines that go above like fucking 50 miles up in the air. Fuck that shit. I, I, I'll, I I'll never do one. that in my life. I think they got one in Florida that goes above like a gator. <laughs> Wow. I don't know about that. Uh, gator I, I land. Love, I love, uh, listen, I love crocodiles and gators. I, I don't know about that one. I wouldn't do that. A little too sketchy for me. A little too sketchy. Well, you can, you can like, you know, animals. I mean, I'm taking think care of a full-size gator. I, I believe it. But, you know, you, you still are going to issue discretion around them because oh, they're... Fuck. I don't <laughs> trust them. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I've been bucked at, man. That shit's scary. <laughs> I th that's why, I like, when people like talk to me, like, oh, that I'd love to have a horse. I'm terrified of horses. I don't even. I don't oh like god, horses. yeah. My mom. She I can't. Once, like, broke her uh, her like leg on a horse. I like, don't. They're, they really can trust fuck you up. Any animal that's larger than me, and even s most that are smaller than me. I don't know. The, the, the horses can't see what's going on behind their head. Don't know what's going on back there. Well, like, don't trust them. Prey animals, too. It's like a, a false sense of security. Like, oh, they're not going to hurt me. And then out of nowhere, they just kick and you're dead. They're animals. Yeah. Like um, deer. I heard domesticated. He got two fingers. I think that's what the Nope movie accident. was trying to be about. Uh, what The what now, uh, base? What happened? Who got fingers uh, bit they, off? Uh, I know someone who got their fingers bit off by accident from a horse. Oh, man. <laughs> Did yeah, they, they grow back? fingers? No. Oh. <laughs> they were a baby, so it would no, it was gone. Yeah, same they were an infant, <laughs> otherwise they could have grown back because of the yeah, two cells. According yeah. to your teacher. <laughs> according to my history teacher according in, uh, to your like, in, in 10th grade. Teacher, yeah. The mitochondria. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> Lesson plants involve it's Star the soul Trek. soul of the cell. Mitochondria, mitochondria, Wait. mitochondria. You see a horse, you gotta eat it before it eats you. The way it is. I'm so hungry. <laughs> right. Oh We're God! What the this? fuck? We're Skyrim in this, are we? I suppose we could try. I suppose. 
Maybe we will not make it. Uh-oh. Speaking of horses, if we had a Skyrim horse right now, that would be pretty clutch. So I didn't know that apparently there's going to be horses in Diablo 4. Yes, yeah, there, there are, it, there's level, mounts. Level 25, yeah. Because, you so know, weird. I, it's WoW. I, like I said, the WoWification. Also, it's like in the Diablo series, is the Necromancer really not popular? Because I know they didn't have it in this current beta, but like everyone's just talking about the Druid, and I don't see anyone talking about like, oh, I can't wait to try the Necromancer. Necromancer came out in 3 as an expansion, I think. Yeah, Necro There's in 2. Yeah, there was yeah, two. Was classic. Two was a classic, like character, and people really liked Necro. Um, three did not launch with a Necro, but then they did like an update years later. So oh. I I like Paladin and Crusader. Those are my two because I like being able to like um, like buff allies and um, unleash the fist of righteousness up an enemy's asshole. So. Necro isn't popular because it was never like the meta. Like you could never uh, like do Nightmare in Hell with the Necro back in the day until like you got like big updates. Yeah, it always seems like it's this really uh, unconventional character design compared to all the rest. Like it seems like it's fun, but probably not the best choice if you want to like do really well. <laughs> it's way better now, but at first he was like a you could barely get through normal with the Necro. Who's that? Back in the day. Who's shooting? Oh, me. No, no, that wasn't shooting. What? Mara, you gotta jump a lot when you get off that. Uh, yeah, or you can make like a zip that. line. I we feel we went up the zip. We have the zip line. No, I mean you make your own. Oh. Um. I also I feel like we're in Lord of the Rings right now, crossing the fucking misty mountains. Remember that? Yeah, this is fucking sick. When they're like on top of the mountain, and then it starts like S Saruman uses his voice to like command the snow and blizzard and shit. Oh. Yeah. And and there Legolas is, is like walking on the snow. Fucking awesome. Well, guess it's time to do my twentieth rewatch. I, I'm actually gonna do a rewatch. Uh, Bailey's never seen them, and they're doing a re-release of Return of the King to theaters in April. So. I, really? Yeah, yeah. The they oh, version whoa. too, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It seems like kind of like. Really? A, at a certain point, though, you're like punishing yourself to see that in the theater because it'd be so four hours. I do. Yeah, After, like, I do two, two hours. hours. I split them right down the middle. I do two. You know, so it's like I'm watching a six part series, two hours each, and I like that format. It's worked out for me. Oh, this is some like intense climbing. Are we? Is this where we started? Close. Oh, we're way past that. Maybe. Oh, we are. But yeah, I mean, oh, we started in a mountain. A cliff <laughs> so we have to get to the other side of the island completely, right? Yep, we gotta go over. I mean, we could have gone around, but <laughs> it kind of happened. No, uh, it's just we're, we're Fitzcarral doing this shit. It, it just kind of happened. Up, I mean, the, the game is patched. letting us do this for some reason. If it was unpatched, we could just slide down the mountain on I the other side it. by hitting B. I wish you could see Vinny still has a sled. Yeah, Vinny has a sled. I have a sled. Here, I made a zip line for some of you guys. You could take. And it goes up the mountain. Does left, left, left. Left, uh. It's a little bit more. Yeah, yeah that's better. Now. Could have just had giant eagles fly us over oh. instead. Yeah. <laughs> Drop the fucking ring right into the mountain. On the road again. Oh! Hey. Oh man, I'm getting stamina fucked. Forgot about the torch thing. Yeah, that'll keep you warm. Torches will make it so you don't freeze. You'll have way more stamina, too. I've reached the top of this game's world, I think. You got the slide in your inventory? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, waiting for you guys. I'm going to wait for you guys. I'm also going to place a, uh, a landmark here of some kind. You guys have rope hooks left? You should make a hook right here. I can do I one. Yeah, I have a zip line. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to uh, yeah. help. If you're at the top, or... Vinny, you can do it from the top. It'd probably be I best. can do it. Can you just shoot in a random fucking direction and it just makes it? 
It has I to tried, be only like within a certain distance. I tried uh, making the thing, but like it didn't work with me. Like, do I just shoot it? Well, it has to attach in two places. So you have to shoot it one place and then you shoot the next place. Oh. How these ropes work. Like this. Shoot here and then shoot there. That did not work. Well, you're probably not pointing in the right spot. No, like it. Okay. Oh, I see. I'm dead. Uh oh. There you go. I don't know how I survived that. Oh, I found the corner where you can go up. <laughs> jump, uh, jump, jump, jump. Anywhere. Yeah, I can't jump that. <laughs> the gravity just like stops working if you spam space now. It's too much. Uh, I can't really do very much with a zip line because it's too steep. I can't get up there, man. Oh, the deal is. Just don't stop hitting space. Just point up. Pull out a torch so you have more stuff. Oh no, it's, you're, you're you weren't lying about how much I you need. Yeah, to use use your your store, uh, torch torch. Mm -hmm. it's like a surf map or something. You gotta like yeah. <laughs> B hop all the way. Make a base up here, just like. Oh, what? There's fucking cannibals up here. No. Oh, is there? Yeah. Where? Where I am. There's there's two Where? big red babies. And there's a whole bunch. Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of them. Well, tell them Can't to stop. <laughs> Are we waiting on top of this mountain for those guys? We going down. Try and get up there. Oh, kid. nice. Oh, Whoever God made that the damn. Time. What is the range That's me. on this I thing? made that. Oh, hey, cool. How did we get up the this last chunk? Oh, great. Uh, Sad, go with me. Go with me. Let's go okay. this other way. We're, just, we're not going to keep jumping up here. Oh, they're like all the way That's down amazing. There. That is amazing. <laughs> this is much easier. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah they're, they're all like down, there. down there. They're not supposed to be able to go in the winter areas, I thought. I was gonna throw a grenade at them, but it's just a waste you of a grenade. You gonna tell them? Yeah, it's so far. I want to try to sled, but I pro I will probably die, and I still don't know how to sled. Oh, here we go. All right. There you go. I'll push you. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my Look god! Look at that icon, bro. <laughs> oh, no. oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> He's still going. I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. Oh. I'm fine. I'm Can actually completely fine. From up here. I'm making, yeah, I'm making a zip line right now. All right, cool. Actually, that, I actually had a moment. Can you undo? That, that, yeah, right yeah, click, right click. Okay. Um, can someone make a skull stick really quick up there? Oh, is that how you did it? Yeah, because yeah, uh, um, it was just enough height. How do you do that? I'll make a stick. I have a skull. All right, do it. Up. So it makes it so it has a good just starting point. Put it just at like, like the highest point, like over here. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. Does it? If, well, if you know what you're doing, then you do it. I guess. Did you right. also have uh, a sled? Now? How do you put a skull? No, up? I just I slid it. down the it. side, and it didn't kill me with fall damage. Oh. There you go. Okay. And all right. Huh. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, my internet just like crapped out for like two minutes. Somehow I stayed connected to the forest, but like Discord and everything else didn't work. That was really bizarre. That's weird. Man, how I'm fucking glad. far does this go? Because uh, you would have had to come all the way back up here. <laughs> yeah, I was trying not to. Oh, leave I it cut off. Server not Shit. Responding. Yeah, it has like a certain distance, and then it just like breaks. Yeah. All right. Um. Well, I know well, where it breaks now. I'll establish a forward base. Somewhere. I'll do one. Yeah, you do it then, son. Just run to where desert is, but stop and shoot stop it off before. right before. Uh, oh, Des, give me down. up! Des, give me up! <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. How do I shoot so, this thing? Yeah, oh, reload! Whoa! Oh, there you go. Should be like a white dot. I got gotcha. you. Go. Gotcha. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I go, I go. 
could go. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking dropped like a rock there. Oh my god, I am I am sledding down a river. Are you still going? What the fuck? Uh, no, 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 I'm not still going. I, I uh. took a break for a bit. Okay, that did not work. All right, never mind. Let's just go down. Yeah, let's go down. Ugh. I'm trying to what get the? to the other side oh. so I can make a little forward base for us. Oh, I just lost like all my. Back into the fucking river, I guess. I just ate a little meat cube and it said brain bite. <laughs> oh, <I got laughs> what does that, that mean? I don't know. It's like cube someone's brain. It's delicious, though. Oh shit, I just died. Where are you at? Where are you? Mountain. Oh, I, I gotcha. I don't know, I have no idea how to do this fucking grappling hook. You have to reload it. No, I, no, I just don't know how to make the fucking things go. No, oh, it's tricky. I mean, it's it's pretty specific. Whoa. Eat some shit first. Yeah. And take some pills. You need to have like a, a whitewater raft in, in this game. you seen that kayaking VR game? It's apparently really good. Ooh, uh, I, no, I haven't. I have to check that out. That sounds awful. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's nothing crazy like whitewater rafting or anything, but there's some videos online of people going all out with it and, you know, using a real kayak inside their house, and then they get, like, real paddles and attach the controllers to them, and then they have the VR headset on, you go, like, weird fantasy locations and stuff. And like what, like a generator to make it rumble and shit? Probably. What? There are a lot of haptic vests and stuff out there now. Like I remember I, when I worked at the Void VR location that we had haptic vests and for the Star Wars experience and people would get shot and they'd feel it on their bodies. They'd have like a, I don't know, like a, a life changing moment because you feel it hit you and they're like, wait, what? Like, oh, and people get really shocked. Like, did I just get shot? What? Oh. It really catches people off guard. Well, I'm... F I found a cave by a giant lake. Uh... How do you zoom in on the GPS again? I always forget. It'll click. It'll Thank click. Thank you. No, no. Oh, uh, right. I rebound. I rebound it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. So, yeah, I'm on the other side. There's a cave, and then there's a green glowy spot. So I guess I'll just go to where the cave is because that's seems like a point of interest. Catching up to you. There is a trail. It can take you like right there, generally, but this cave seems somewhat important. Warding live without warding. The video for that song is funny. It's just like someone doing a bunch of like dumb things that you're not supposed to do, like eating like chicken bones and stuff like that. I don't know. <laughs> is it like, like people walking all under ladders and stuff? Oh no, that's walking contradiction. Yeah, that it's a similar idea, kind of. Okay. What about um making an, like a uh, should we should we make anything here or I would at least a save point for sure. Um but we could there's some freeze we can cut down as well. Clear out this clear. Yeah. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh <laughs> Oh, 
timber. Wow, base. You you really need to see what you look like. What do I look like? Wearing bones and meat flesh with a chainsaw. Like I was about to <laughs> fucking hit you with my axe. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I should I'm make fully that. Fully armored. Let's make the helmet. I guess. Um. Can you make that from a skull, or how did you make that head bones? Piece? You just have to have bones, a rope, and tape, and then you. Can oh, just the bone armor. bone armor. Okay. Yeah, it's just bone armor, and I guess because I have like the last bit of armor, I guess it gave me uh, more stuff. It's weird. It's like you just take random bones and you can make a skull out of other bones. <laughs> Yes. Like like guys, there's a uh, there's a cave right here. That's yeah, good. I can we save first, though? Well, we can... We can are we doing the cave, or are we calling it a night? Um, I don't know if this is a vital cave. Also, is desert, like, you, you good, Des? Yeah, I'm making a zipline right now. Okay. Okay. Well, uh... Oh, there's a kayak in here. Weird. We're just talking this, about This that. is like a Smeagol cave. Oh, it was it fucking reset my zip line. Damn it. Just go, the, just go in the cave with us. The final bunker has like a key card door on the outside, so this must be something that leads up to that eventually. Um, kind of feel like this cave might be a dead end. Like, Dude. yeah, this like, this appears to be just a loot cave. What's the loot? New forward operating base, you say? Possibly. Just put a tarp in here. Be safe. All right. Uh, I'm hearing myself through someone's thing. No. Interesting. So yeah, put a tarp maybe over here. I'm gonna put a fire down. Oh, and there was a a YouTube comment that someone was trying to clarify something that I said on the first stream, where I was like, if we're wearing all this Kevlar and stuff in the beginning, why do we we're wrapping bones around ourselves? And they said that Kevlar is specifically designed to stop bullets, but it's really weak against blades and you know small sharp objects. So in theory, Kevlar wouldn't help you out in the wilderness much at all. So I guess it's realistic. I, I don't say that about him. I think he's very helpful. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can I can agree with that. Oh, my frame rates are amazing in this cave. Isn't it nice? How do I um? Oh man, I, I wanted the whole to... game. Has a PS like this. Can, can we build a bone chandelier in here for extra? I don't have any bones. I have bones. Yeah. Yeah, let me see if I can put that on the stalactite. Yeah, son. Well, yeah, son. Well, well, son. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Interior decorating. Um, I don't. I don't have enough bones. I don't. Have uh, I've given I her all skulls. the bones. I got. I got skulls. Donate your bones. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's a home now. Got <laughs> your bones. Ain't getting a boner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seems dangerous to have a fire in a cave like this too. I'm sure it's. Fun. We're gonna all go to sleep and no one's gonna wake what, up. What was that? Who just, just exploded? Throw a grenade. I threw a time bomb. I just oh. wanted to see what it did. <laughs> okay, Dude, I thought that was like a, a comedy grenade. <laughs> a time bomb? Are we now like 30 minutes in the past? Time bomb. Where did where did the the tent get set up? Nowhere. No one, one. No, no, one, one, no one made one yet. I uh, dude, dude, you Stop killed it. me. You actually killed me, dude. <laughs> dude, there you go. Dude, I'm you fucking kill me, man. I'm I'm dead, dude. Vinny, why'd you run into the grenade? You die in here. I dude. I thought there was gun ammo here. Where? In, in the... To, yeah, next to that body. The skeleton. Um, something about video games and video game skeletons that they they can't get right just to, for, to reality is if there's a skeleton if you just stumble upon one it's not going to be like put together. Like it, it, Obviously video games can't like do that but 
Like the tendons are not there? Not even just that, like the rib cage would not be fully formed. It couldn't be because a lot of the bones are connected by sinewy tissue and cartilage. So when you see an actual skeleton out in the wild, the, the rib cage is completely collapsed usually and in just pieces. Y'all can not save one, this bed over here. One wild whole piece. Skeleton. I see. Wild skeleton in the boat. I thought it was interesting is the game inside that for the soundtrack, they... they uh, I hear my oh, voice. Oh, so whoop. Else. Sorry, I hit T. Uh, they purchased a real human skull and they played the soundtrack into it with a microphone inside the skull. It's so like the reverberation of like the bones of a head is uh, how they like That's modulated cool. the soundtrack to it. What There's a video of them doing it too. What are they trying to poof, huh? What are they trying to poof? <laughs> right. Oh, you can't well, sleep in a cave, huh? Oh. No, but you can save. In a, uh, yeah, you can... I have a sleep option. I do. Oh, really? yeah. oh, yeah, there yeah. it is. And it, do we want to? Is it, is it still daytime? We no. probably don't want to sleep right now. It's still daytime, but we did sleep in the daytime anyways. I saved. But I want to yeah, stop save, playing here. I'm I'm done. I just want to take a quick look outside and uh So, what was that about the skull head oh. with the music? You were finishing it's just that, like yeah, when they played the like the sound through the skull, like the vibrations are so intense that all the teeth and everything fell out of it and it just like kind of collapsed. <laughs> so like Zot was saying, like real bones just don't hold together at all. They just oh, okay. start falling yeah. in pieces. It's uh, like your jaw would likely, as a skull, as it's decaying, your jaw would almost fall out too, depending on the shape of your skull, of course, but the cartilage, all the, the, the soft tissue on your bones would just go away and there's like, there's voids and gaps and everything. Especially if you died in a really impressive way, your jaw would just drop to the floor. Right. Oh, oh. mono. <laughs> you, you, you make jokes like I do. Dry wit. Mm-hmm. Well, listen. Uh, I think, Jeff, I, I think um, we're, we're gonna wrap up, so maybe everyone save. Everyone come back to the cave and save. Perhaps. Yeah, save. I'm okay, out save. Okay. Alright, I'll just double save. I'll double the save. save. The save cave. Yeah. It's our forward operating cave base. Oh my god, I can't believe it's over here. What is it? Oh my god. You'll have to find out next time. I'm gonna want to see this. That chest. They can't show that. You can't even show that on the VOD. There's no way. Illegal. Alright. <laughs> Jeff, you can't do that. <laughs> god damn it. Alright. Uh, well, I saved. Um, so I'm gonna just... Exit here. Thanks everyone for watching. Why did you hit him with a spear? Uh, next time we'll start doing more of the end game stuff, and uh, yeah, it was fun. There's a lot of good podcast yeah. material and a lot of progress, at least some progress. And uh, yeah, so thanks, Desert Base Sin Nari, <laughs> uh, who's what getting is spears. He has to look at oh, he's dead now. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> Uh, Vigibum, great dot, take. and the monotonist. Okay, and on and me, Vinny. Goodbye. Good night. See ya. Stop. I'm quitting before you kill me. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, fucking through a time bomb. <laughs>